What's up, Mike? Hey. How you doing? I'm doing good. Well, congratulations, Mr. Affiliate. Yes, we did it. I was, you know, I was worried there for a second that we weren't going to fucking do it, but we did it. Uh, and we've already got know. subscribers. We got Cody. Yes. We got fucking Gosh, Chase. Yes, yes. Like <laughs> people who are willing to pay for this shit. It's insane. <laughs> uh, but I'll take your money. I mean, I have <laughs> no other income right now, so. <laughs> Every little dollar counts. Speaking of making money, buy our shit. Yes, buy our shit. T Public, link down below. We sold one sticker last month. That's just yes. right. We need uh, more than one sticker. I mean, you need to got a dollar from my girl. <laughs> yeah. I literally sent him a dollar. It's true. So, yes, please. Support us that way. Or watch or do something. I don't know. Let's just hang out. We like it. Uh, you know what? What it's done? Time for today, Mike? Uh, it's time for me to make the post to Facebook. <laughs> I forgot to fucking... Yeah. <laughs> okay, don't do that. Quickly. That makes sense. We don't have <laughs> fucking viewers right now. Well, Mike does that, I'm going to say what I was going to say. Yeah, do it. It's Disney, bitch. So, uh, is a uh, rank them? Yes. Like, uh, we have done a bunch of these lately. I don't know why. They're fun, I guess. And... You know what I was thinking we should do, Mike? We should do what? like a rank them, rank them. Like take all yes. the winners, even though they have nothing to do with each other, and just put them in a bracket and see what happens. Fuck it. We do everything else. Might as well do that too. Sure. So uh, we need a bunch of people for this. Uh, so we're burning Cody. You are muted. Hello. <laughs> That's um, I was going to use my Trich Prime. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, Mike gifted one. So then I gifted one to Chase. So this is a I'm I'm happy for you guys. You guys deserve this. I think Multiplex sold a sticker last month too. So we're in the dollar club. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, but overall, uh, yeah, this should be a lot of fun. Uh, Disney bar's not here, so are <laughs> like it's going to be correct and it's going to be a shorter time. Um, but there are two people that are going to like have. Well, probably bad takes compared to mine and certain movies will go a little farther than they need to. And I'm hoping that I can convince them to shoot it in the back of the head and we can just move on. But I think the whole rank them thing would be fun too. We can make Spielberg glass just to make Mike. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. He can go out in the first round. If he goes against like a Disney movie or something. <laughs> fucking God damn it. <laughs> Well, since Tony doesn't actually know Disney, we need to balance this shit out. So we brought in Kelly. Money. Yes. Do, you know, do you know Disney? Do you know Disney? <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. Just, just a little I'm bit. I'm talking about Nazario. He doesn't know Disney. <laughs> <laughs> um, am I one of the people with the bad takes? Because I think it might be. I'm nervous now. <laughs> I think you're going to be one of those classic Disney people that will be like, these are so good. They're so great. And listen, shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> Drag it to the end. Got it. <laughs> also, since this is going to be a big bracket because there's a bunch of fucking movies, we needed more people to fill space. So we brought in both, too. Yes. I want credit for getting you guys to 50 on Twitch. Yeah, no. <laughs> you I guys was, to 50. Well, for technically, sure. yes. But actually, no. Yeah. I, I don't don't know, you don't get to I come at the end of the finish line and be like, I'm your 50th <laughs> customer. Look Twitch at me. Your me. No, actually. Twitch refused to recognize one of the, the, the <laughs> subscribers. So we were on 50 on screen, but they were like, no, nope, you're in 49. Yeah. So oh, we actually did uh, the big get, thing. We needed to get to 51. So they say, okay, 50. I was like, nah, <laughs> I, I, I don't get this. Anyway, the pirate bitch is also here. What's up? Captain Pirate Bitch. What's good? Oh, this is freaking I am horrible. I am the most beloved uh person in Cody's life right now when it comes to fucking video store shit. So I'm excited to be on this bracket breakdown. Uh hey, Mike and I are obviously gonna put Treasure Planet into the finals right now on, on, of on course. principles. So I mean, it's that, gotta be. It's a great fucking movie. Yeah. It's a great fucking movie. Fair. Okay. Uh for everybody who was watching, there are fifty-nine. Disney animated studio movies. That doesn't make a good bracket. And we I actually didn't want to do five uh, buys like we did with uh, Audrey Hepburn. Because, eh, 
you know, no. So instead, I decided to add five movies. Five movies not made by Disney Animation Studios, but owned by Disney. I put a list, people voted, and I forgot what we had. Made by Disney, just not this branch of Disney. <laughs> <laughs> So let me get it's, it right just to be here. Clear, it's not looking like we're putting robots and Anastasia on this we bracket for no added. reason. I'd flip and take Anastasia over some of these choices. I agree. I'm going to be honest I, with you. I would take robots over basically all these choices. I agree. <laughs> I did not I did not go Fox. I forgot that I owned that too now. Fuck it. Okay, I Fuck went. Robots and Ice Age deserve better. <laughs> they added Nightmare Before Christmas. Did we uh, is tale, the movie The Treasure of the Lost Lamp. Yeah. A goofy movie. A movie I will eventually have to watch. Return to Neverland. For some reason. That, that's not a <laughs> and that the original. Movie, Which is actually... I don't know about that. Bowman, you're a racist. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that was a Milwaukee, that was a Milwaukee <laughs> joke that just carried over, and I forgot we're not Milwaukee anymore. <laughs> so, since this is going to be kind of a long one, <laughs> I prepared, you're going to say that. Sorry about, I sorry about it. I prepared. I brought a sandwich. Also, uh, I figure like one person should speak per movie. Like, if you if something comes up and you feel like excited about it, go for it. Then we vote because if everybody talks on every movie, we're never gonna leave. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be top one hundred. <laughs> Seven <laughs> hours of of ranking. so, Mike. I'm gonna put you in the bottom when we change. And the first movie we're gonna talk about is a goofy movie. Anybody has any feelings for this? This movie should have been made by Disney Animation Studios. It's fantastic. Doesn't get enough credit. An extremely goofy movie is also great. That's all. The soundtrack is legitimately incredible. Yes. What happened to the one person talks per movie rule, Bo? <laughs> I have not seen this movie. Okay. So fair. Who invited the grandpa with the beanie? Like, let's be honest. <laughs> shut up, shut up. He hasn't That's even fair. seen half of these movies. Let's be real. I've seen all of I, them but Goofy Movie. And I have seen them. everything but this one. Also, uh, I didn't like a Goop Troop. So I, I don't know if that's uh, maybe uh, added or re or take from my decision not to watch it. The kid is here. He's talking. <laughs> okay. My kid's and next and we are talking, so we're in the same boat. That movie goes against Zootopia. Anybody like Zootopia here? Oh, let's shoot it in the head right <laughs> now. Let's kill <laughs> I, I like Zootopia. I like it. I like Zootopia. It's fine. It's good. That's all right. Hey, speaking of racist, <laughs> Zootopia, everybody. I think the Zootopia. dynamic... I think the dynamic between uh, Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps is one of the best dynamics between Disney characters in the entire canon of the studio. I think those two are great together through the entire movie. Um, yeah, I mean, I can I can concede the allegory doesn't quite hold up by the end, but I think the overall story of just what it's a noir, when they're doing detective stuff, I think that works really well and is really entertaining to watch. Um, yeah, I think all the characters are all really fun to watch. Too. Hey, Nazario, what if you taught a movie about, hey, not judging people based on, like, their past and everything else. And then by the end of it, you judge everyone on their past and who they are as a people. This whole thing of not teaching them to be racist <laughs> does not hold up at all in this movie. It is so bad. The animation's fine. Then, like, there's great voice actings. But the moral of the story for your kids, do not show them this movie. One, they'll tell you to try everything. So they're going to try cocaine. And then the second thing, they'll literally be racist at the end. So not a fan. Not a great movie. Disney, I, I, there's I, I power agree. line. I Goofy movie, there's power line. I, I disagree because that movie is fucking great. And yeah, I think the problem is that people decided that it was an allegory for racism. And it was an allegory for, I don't know, interspecies something. I like it. Screw you. Uh, okay. Go. What do you vote? Oh, is it between a Goofy movie and Zootopia? Yes. yes. I can't really vote, can I? I haven't seen a Goofy movie. Vote! So it's Zootopia. <laughs> then, I vote, then I'll vote for Zootopia. That's fine. <laughs> Go. Go. I'm going to be on the... To quote my beanie friend, I'm going to be on the right side of history on this one, and I'm putting a Goofy movie on to the next round. It's all swim. 
God I'm, like, I'm like Kane McMillan. Oh, we we haven't asked for the chat yet. Uh, <laughs> Mike Halley, what do you vote for? Oh, Zootopia. Goofy movie. Kelly votes Zootopia. We're tied. Yes. I'm going Zootopia. Are you going to tie this shit, Boatman? Boatman's going to vote Zootopia. Yeah, I, I really like Zootopia. Boatman likes Zootopia more than I do. Well, he's from Iowa. I don't expect much. So <laughs> See? Now my comments at the beginning. Come on now. Well, no, now I stand by it. Yeah, there you yeah, go. He had, chance, he had a chance to show his colors, and he showed them right there. There you go. Okay. Zootopia makes it to the second round. Enjoy, Hawkeye. The next one is... <laughs> that was good. Such a good one. Uh, an actually quite interesting movie made by Disney in 2012 called Rocket Brown. Hell yeah. I like this movie really very, very much. much. Uh, I think it embraced the spirit of video games without actually using much license for video game characters. It doesn't depend on people's recognition of, of Sonic and Mario or whatever. Like, you get that bonus thing if you actually know what they're kind of referring and satirizing, but I think it holds up on itself. And I think... Uh, this has a lot of heart that I felt kind of lacked in the sequel because this one, uh, it's very, very character driven. So I love this movie. Anybody else impressions on this one? Uh, this is the who framed Roger Rabbit of video games. That's actually a very apt description. So it's better. And it's definitely better than who framed Roger Rabbit. I'll stand by that. Um, uh, I like this movie a lot. I like this movie a lot. I like that you get a princess that isn't overly girly, like she drives cars and like that's a good role model and just something really different for the characters and a more more fun dynamic for a princess. So I like this one. Teaches kids good messages. I agree. Sarah Why? Silverman what? usually irritates the piss out of me, but I thought she's great in this movie. So Why is Penelope not on the official Disney princess camp? Is she not? She, she doesn't sing. Question. She does sing in the second one. She has a whole musical called Slaughter Race. Yeah. Yeah. It's about Slaughter Race. <laughs> I guess that's true, but I don't know. Maybe they don't they don't recognize the second one as canon. I'm not sure. Maybe. Valid. So Definitely that movie's good. going against the Aladdin. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that's brutal. <laughs> that's brutal. <laughs> Welcome to the bracket, everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We put Zootopia through on the other one and left these two fight in the first round. <laughs> yeah. That's brutal. Aladdin rocks. Yeah. Oh, uh, who? Which one has Robin Williams? Okay, let's move on. Mm -hmm. I believe that is Fern Gully. <laughs> I'll put it through. It's everyone's hero, actually. Okay. Sure Robert. Robert. Oh gosh. So put a thing in the chat. It'll take six a years. classic versus Aladdin. Who makes it? <laughs> Aladdin. I vote Aladdin. Cody, I'm. I said the one with Robin Williams. <laughs> Mike, Aladdin. God damn it, both. Aladdin. Kelly. Hey, Aladdin. Spence. Yeah, I would have both for record, Ralph, but I, I figured it would be a tough choice here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Aladdin is fine. It's just that it's sandwiched between two movies that are so far better than Aladdin that it feels weird. So far better. I experienced this shit in real time. Remember, one of them, one of them is like definitely it. better, but I wouldn't say so. They're both better. The hell? No, one of them is not better. Okay, Cody knows what's wrong. Like. The next one is one movie that I love because it's insane in the best way possible. Alice in Wonderland. This is this is this Cody's is what we're going to be. This is where we're going to be this entire time, and I can't wait till Coho gets uh, has to leave because he won't be able to say anything. This movie's absolute garbage, this garbage, oh, come on. trash, garbage. This movie rules. Listen, I, if you enjoy <laughs> like if you enjoy stuff like drugs and have a lot of fun watching this, have fun with it. I'm sorry, I'm not on that. I can't follow you guys. I don't understand why anybody would sit there for the length of this cartoon and watch it and have fun. Nope. This is one of the Disney's that I can say nearly word for word like i can do the full quotes and scenes this forever changed the way i pronounce the word mustard and laughed myself and no one else gets it but i love it <laughs> i am mustard. worried about you i am worried about you both how where are your feelings on alice in wonderland uh i have a very special attachment, attachment to alice in wonderland uh i was in uh in high school we did alice in wonderland on stage and i was mad hatter 
Uh, and that, I, I don't think until I had done that, I'd actually seen the movie. I don't watch, like, grow up watching this one. Uh, and I just love this movie. I, this is like a, an animated road trip, basically. It's whimsical and all Acid the fun trip. Ways. Acid trip. It's what go, Cody, you were fucking wrong. <laughs> I'm not. I hope it goes <laughs> against something really good. Okay. That movie goes versus 2011's Winnie the Pooh. Alice in Wonderland. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> no! Fuck the bear! Winnie the Pooh War! Let's move on! <laughs> Stupid Stop bear! Dude, fuck off. Why, is, why do you hate the bear? That doesn't the make man wears sense. Sh- Listen, I've said this numerous no times. I don't want to I don't want to beat a dead horse, but he wears a shirt and not pants. Listen, I'm a fat I'm guy, now. and if I was friends with me, if I was Pooh and I got stuck in a tree trying to get honey, his friend should leave him stuck in the tree. Stop being fat and stop going after the food and putting everybody in the thing. The only sensible person <laughs> in this entire hungry acre woods is flipping rabbit because people get into his yard and he throws them out because he's been working hard while fat boys stealing honey. Stop it. That is the only giving movie. giving fat people a bad name. This is the one with the Maxon. I don't it's care. Stupid. It's stupid. And there's also drugs involved because there's hump lumps and wops woos and <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me crap. Yeah. It's terrible. This almost divorced me and my wife because she put it on for my kids and I said, not in my house. <laughs> I will never, ever, ever stop loving the fact that Cody cannot pronounce half lumps or woozles, but he gets so close to saying it right every time. My favorite thing. <laughs> Is- It'll cost me some point in some trivia, Matt. You know who also probably. wears a shirt and no pants? Donald Duck. He's also he a is. psychopath. Fucking great. Four okay. Movie. Cody, I assume you're going for Alice in Wonderland. You're muted. Cool. The far superior film, yes. Mike. Alice in Wonderland. Boatman. Alice in Wonderland. Kelly. The Winnie the Pooh 2011 is really boring, so yeah, Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland is better, but I like Winnie the Pooh. Go home. Al- Alice in Wonderland. Make it unanimous. Put it through. Okay. Sorry, the boy 7515. If Pooh wants to have a good time, then he should just not. It's okay. Pooh. It's okay. We still have another Winnie the Pooh in the, in the bracket. <laughs> yeah, we'll shoot that one too. A better Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> so, the next one. It's what some people may call a great fucking movie. Treasure Planet. Yeah, yes. baby. Mike, I, I'll give fucking the floor to you on this because nobody understands your love for this movie. I don't know. I just, I, there's certain Disney movies that I just find boring and, you know, cartoonish. And this movie's just filled with fucking adventure. And I can't get enough of it. It's a great fucking movie. Five stars. I mean, it's pirates in space, so. God damn it. Do you, do you, do you, do you need to say anything more? <laughs> yeah, say anything more. There's pirates. <laughs> There's pirates. It's awesome. Pirates in space with freaking one of the greatest character yes, dynamics uh, between Jim and John Silver. It's great. It's a great fucking movie. I tend to agree that it's a good movie. I'm the wouldn't go great quite there yet, but Hey Mike, can you quote it? No, you can't because you haven't seen it proven facts. I I, I, just <laughs> I can't quote believe. most Disney that, movies. That, so that I, don't don't be, I be, don't believe you have watched this movie. It makes no <laughs> sense. If you like a movie, if it's five stars, it's at least logged 14 times on your letterbox. <laughs> this is not logged once. <laughs> this thing is the one five star review that is missing. It's like the map in this movie. This movie is terrible. <laughs> and also, terrible lead character. Don't trust the cyborg. I'm going to go on a flipping mission with a cyborg. The entire... Oh, he's bad? What? What? <laughs> hate the movie. Terrible. Trash. It's my sister's favorite movie, too, Spons. I don't care what uh, your sister thinks. <laughs> sister this movie goes into. against another adventure movie from Disney from actually the year before. Oh, a where classic. should it? Shoot the this Lost one in the head. Boy. Shoot this in the head. This movie's ass. This movie sucks. Okay, I no. Didn't like the oh, I, I, I didn't like the game. Game. There's not a good character in this movie. There's not one good character in this movie. They all oh, are. How dare you, uh, Milo? 
is an incredible character. Okay, just because you are Milo from this movie does not make him a likable character. <laughs> I'm Milo with you. makes him likable. What the fuck are you talking about? It's a great character. This is the far superior one between the two. Absolutely. This one should get a live action one to like this tomorrow. This needs a live action one. Absolutely. Uh, I actually really enjoy this one. And I always got them confused trying to play on this one because I don't care because they're both kind of mediocre. But when you compare <laughs> them now, oh, Atlantis is, is top tier compared to Treasure Planet. Atlantis was always like the next level. Like it was your more adult fare. Like it wasn't one that got passed around at sleepovers and things like that, but it was always one that made you, it was like bridge the gap between watching more mature movies and Disney. So this, like Mike, it. you have no it's idea what they're fun. talking about. Your sleepovers was Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction, right? It is true. It's true. This that is true. This is true. Mike was watching the animation style of Atlantis <laughs> is so different than what they were doing before that it, it kind of resonates with an older audience. The trailers were fantastic. The movie did disappoint a bit compared to what it was promised. But overall, I still think it's a solid movie. And it has a Leviathan. Atlantis so, is an hour and 20 minutes too long. <laughs> okay, both. You're, you're Which one you go with? Atlantis or Treasure Planet? Treasure Planet is honestly a really like simple kind of... I, I don't like Treasure Planet as much as Coho does. Atlantis is awesome. Those characters are great. I love the crew of Atlantis. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Kelly! Atlantis. God damn it. Coho! Treasure Planet is not even fucking close. They're like 40 movies apart on my ranking. Cody? Um, Atlantis. Mike. Or we could put Goofy movie back on. Atlantis is a good fucking movie. Treasure Planet is a great fucking great movie. Fucking Treasure movie. Planet. These two movies are so close, to be honest. But I'm going to make this shit interesting. I'm going to go Treasure Planet. So we'll leave, it to the <laughs> leave it to the chat. Mike, what are people voting well, for? Spence already said Treasure Planet by a mile, so we got one vote. Holzman also says Treasure Planet is better. Holzman says... <laughs> I hate everything. Because oh, it's Carly, the says, Carly says the land is... One so Atlantis. Come on back. Two Treasure Planets. Okay, we have one Atlantis and two Treasure Planets. Anybody else want to do a vote? Bar says I'm going to be Switzerland. <laughs> Another Treasure Planet! <laughs> Treasure Planet. Cody. Goddamn it, Cody. <laughs> 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 God damn it, Cody. <laughs> At least change your name. <laughs> I'm a subscriber. I'm a subscriber. <laughs> Wait. Dylan, they, Dylan, thank you for there's, subscribing. There's, there's two Atlantis? Huh? No, one was Cody. One was Cody. Oh, like the no, boys. Two Atlantis. Oh, the boy, the boy says Atlantis. And yeah, the boy. Carly says Atlantis. Yeah. Holtzman, Spence, Bar and Dylan Atlantis. say Treasure Planet. Yeah. Now we're tied three to three. Oh we're tied three. No, you're tied three to three. Fucking <laughs> We're tied three to three. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to go to the coin. Yeah. Unless anybody else votes in the next five seconds, I'm going to have to flip this, a coin on this one. This is the Bar, switch your mind. vote. Bar, switch your mm-hmm. vote. Oh, I'll wait. I'll wait till you put the coin. So I'll see what I'm gonna say. Four, three, two hundred fifty-eight. Two. <laughs> ah, shit. Nah, I'm not gonna do that, Carly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I ever liked Bar. Good job. So proud of you. Okay. <laughs> now, Kelly. I'm gonna give you the left, the pleasure of picking. This oh, is not the pressure. <laughs> you want, you want face or tails? Oh, listen if, listen. if you screw this up, we'll hate you forever. If you get it right, we'll be proud of you. Uh, I, I would love it if you, if you get this. She's right really side. bad at skinning things. Twice she's gotten exactly. Food. Luck does not go listen, my Kelly, way. You want to host miscellaneous every <laughs> week? <laughs> um, um, oh god, um, heads. Heads. <laughs> And we get hey, <laughs> <damn it>! yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Atlantis makes it. That makes all the opponents' choice uh, I've spun worth it. <laughs> My luck came through. God damn it. <laughs> we better shoot Atlantis in the next round. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make it go to the finals. Uh speaking of shooting, here's Bambi. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, fuck God this damn. movie. This movie's bad. This movie is so bad. Imagine you're a little deer. <laughs> Bullet rips at you. That would have been way better if they showed it. Um, but this movie's bad. Oh, I, I don't mind this one. Stop it. <laughs> it's very adorable. I hadn't watched it since I was a kid and watched it for the replay and thought I was going to be a bit traumatized by it. But no, there's lots of in-between scenes between Thank the beginning you, and the shooting. The that is really good. And the drip, 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 little April showers. I like that. I, I honestly, this, this is one that even when I was a young kid, I always thought like, what is happening? Why are we watching this? It was like an animated version of National Geographic. It's boring, but it is beautifully drawn. Can, can we can we just get the version of this movie where Bambi's the one that gets shot, so it's done within the first 10 minutes? <laughs> it's a 10 minute short film instead of an hour too long. So Bambi goes against Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, fuck. And we took Treasure Planet out with these two on the board? Bambi. God damn you! <laughs> no, I Nightmare. Hate Nightmare's a feat of it, animation. It's, it's amazing. I hate this movie. I, I vote. I'll just get my vote. Well, the top guys, guys can, okay, listen, listen. We know what Nazario did, right? He put a bunch of things in here that are not from the animation studio. <laughs> can we be purist and let a Disney animation studio go to the end? And Bambi was one that Walt and the family would have put through. Clearly, Nightmare wasn't that vision for Disney. So if you're going to let this slide, this is just throws everything up and... We'll, it just ruins it. It just ruins the magic I, of Disney. I don't think our criteria should be what would Why don't we just include Pixar? Why don't we include DreamWorks? I say this stuff was Disney Animation Studios. Nazario decided to add these. This is disrespectful. It got I, voted in by you, motherfuckers. Why are you playing I did me? not vote. I did not vote this in. I, I would just like to thank you right for now. the 100 bits, Rose. Kelly, who makes it to round two? Um, as an emo kid in the mid two thousands, I have a lot of Jack Skellington apparel, so very much Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> same, same, same. So you're not I a purist. Oh, you're not a purist. It's in I the Kingdom a... Hearts games. It's canon. <laughs> <laughs> what? Kingdom Hearts. You know what? I vote Bambi. Cody. Purism. Bambi. Both. It's what it's what Disney would have wanted. It's what Walt would have wanted, okay? Now I am just I don't imagining like two well, thank you for the gift of Rose. Gar got it. Blink 182 182's I miss you. We can live like Jack and Sally. Yes! yes! Oh my god, you just yeah, you nailed it. I wish I could take that off. <laughs> I wish I could take that off. Uh but Mike Nightmare Alley. Before Christmas is I I I will say Mike's a little overrated. I think there is an actual plot in this movie. So, Nightmare Before Christmas. Mike Halley. Oh, yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas. Boom! Oh, Cody. That's Nightmare in the title. I got to do it. <laughs> I, I don't blame you, Mike. You're just here by out of circumstance. I blame it's both of <laughs> I I've got the doc to a certain match. I'm going to start changing the questions. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Okay. I I gotta dip for a second. Uh, I will no be problem. back. All right. We got three caballeros. I didn't know there was a duck in this one, like so I'm. A... I I like this movie. I'm sorry. Caballeros is a fun time. This was one I watched all the time as a kid. I can't really explain why. It was just, I had the VHS of this because I still had VHSs because uh, my brother had them. Uh, and yeah, Three Caballeros is just a really fun time. The music is legitimately incredible. I really like a lot of the shorts. Like the the shorts before you get to the stuff with the actual Three Caballeros are really good, specifically uh, the Penguin. The, the Pablo the Penguin is super fun. Uh, and I really like the three Caballeros. I like Donald Duck as a character, but I love Jose. Jose is a really good character. Jose is an underrated character. I'm really glad they've done the Disney series to bring back Panchita and Jose because I want to see more of those characters in the wider Disney. Like, they should be having shirts like this. They should have three Caballeros. Yes. You know what I like? I like the Araquan Bird. Who is a blatant... I don't know if he was before or after, but it's like blatantly. That's Woody Woodpecker. That's just Woody Woodpecker. But I like him a lot. Uh, Cody, 
Do you care about the three caballeros? I didn't know there was duck in it. Cool. That, that is actually true. Okay. So the three caballeros goes against the beauty and the beast. Oh, well, okay. Well, you want to talk about overrated and trash. Oh, come on! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> it worked out pretty well. Yeah, this man, this is this is literally like a YouTuber stepping in a ring with an actual professional boxer. It doesn't have any place in, in any way of being a legal fight. So yeah, uh, beating the beast by a mile. Did you uh, did you did you see that uh, during round six he actually got knocked the fuck out and Mayweather yes. catch him yes. for like ten seconds so he wouldn't fall down? Yeah, basically woke him back up. Yep. That that's how this feels like. Beauty and the Beast. Kelly, what do you think? Beauty and the Beast. Mike Hanley. Beauty and the Beast. And Bo. Beauty and the Beast. Sweep. Okay, Okay. Beauty and the Beast. We talked a lot about the coming heroes just for it to get <laughs> ran over by a freight train. Yeah, Take give it us easy, a heads bro. up if it's coming so we don't need to go on so much about the other uh -huh. one. Yeah. Big Hero 6. A uh, movie that is not quite MCU, totally Marvel, kind of Disney. I, I don't know what this actually fits the whole thing, but it's fun. This movie lost a lot of mustard on rewatch. It's not as fun. I think the side characters are honestly some of the worst in Disney. I think they are just like off. Like, like you went to the dollar store and you picked up action figures, and they're the discount Avengers. Like they have no point pl place in this entire role. There's some. Si I like like the villain like that mix up, but overall, like it's just. It tries to tug at your heartstrings, but honestly, falls flat for me. I'm actually the opposite. I think the villain's really boring, and then the team has at least a bit more interest. But Tadashi should be a Disney prince. That boy is pure. I like him. And killed off, oh. it's just a bit sad. I like Tadashi. But um, oh, this movie is fine. On this one? I think this movie is aggressively okay. It is an aggressively <laughs> fun movie. There is nothing really spectacular about it. There is nothing really awful about it. It is aggressively okay. Thank you for the I feel bits, similar Rose. to that. Like, I remember liking it a lot. I, I love Baymax to this day. I think my kid still has one of the plushies. But uh, I, I don't know. It's like it's been seven years and nobody has ever actually like demanded continuation for the story of these characters. I mean, it's it's good in the moment. I don't know. The the one thing this movie did do was rob the Lego Movie from a spot in the Academy Awards Best Animated Features. Don't even get nominated. I don't understand that shit. It's weird. Because okay. Lego Movie didn't have a deserve a spot. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Bowman. Big Hero Six goes against. A magician with a bird. The sword in the stone. Oh. This is a great fun. Uh, it's a great movie. This is one that I didn't realize was so beloved in the community to an extent. Because like this is always one that felt um, that goes by the wayside that not a lot of people would ever talk about, especially growing up. Like it's one like none of my friends would ever watch. But I had this like taped off the TV on VHS, and it was one of the ones that never got crossed out the label. Like it was always sword in the stone. So I like this one a lot. I don't Thank know. Thank you for the 20 bit throws. I Somebody should be the Adelaide of the stream. What the fuck is that take? <laughs> I don't know if I would say this movie is actually that beloved in this community or that I do not shut up about it. I think that, and Nazario also. Nazario and I, and now Kelly, like that we now have more. The sword in the stone cult is growing. Uh, but no, this movie is super fun. Uh, I think Madame Mim is top tier villain. I love yeah. Merlin. Merlin and Archimedes are just an incredible duo. Uh, uh, and I think this is ultimately like a lot of the best things in the movie. Are, it's just like chill. Like this movie just vibes. Like just, oh, we're going to be a fish. We're going to be a squirrel. We're going to be a bird. 
Like it's there's a lot of like chill, and then it's like big excitement stuff. Like that's kind of what's nice about it is it's honestly kind of a relaxing watch for some parts. I'm, I'm serious. Can you take that away from the string? This is ridiculous. <laughs> As the manager of uh, uh, the manager of Timber Collar, I can neither confirm nor deny this movie's existence and whether it is a good film or a bad film. That Dominic you know Rizzi's title is a great fucking biopic. Okay. <laughs> How is it a biopic? Kelly! So, Mike Stein. Micah. It's a great fucking movie. Sword on Stone. Both of Sword in the Stone. Sword in the Stone. Nobody cares what Cody says. It was going to be Sword in the Stone. I knew. I knew it was a gerb. <laughs> Did you really? Yes. I love this movie. Okay. I told him that after the match. The next one is a movie about mice. Which the rescuers. Oh. Or like three of them. Yes, that's true. Meh. Eh. Yeah, same. Uh, sequel is better by a large margin. Uh, actually, this is very forgettable and kind of boring. Uh, the best thing this movie has was when the people snuck like the tits in the VHS tape for the kitties. And then Disney had a problem with it. You guys don't know hey, that? Hey, Nazario. I just want to draw your attention to underneath the boat. What are those two creatures? Damn you, man. Damn you. But not that. Like, don't you know that story? Like, somebody was, like, bored or whatever, and they edited, like, a naked woman picture into a window in one of the scenes on the VHS tape of this movie. And Disney didn't realize it, and they released it like that. And now, like, those copies of the movie are, like, it's insanely expensive. That is the most interesting thing this movie has going for it. So I had to tell it. I don't even know why this got a sequel. It's insanity. Okay. Because they knew they screwed up. Mm -hmm. Bernard and Bianca are actually, like, okay characters. And I'm glad they got an actual good movie to be in. That movie was called Bernard and Bianca in Spanish, in particular. And the sequel is called uh, Bernard and Bianca Adventures in Kangaroo Land. Night Fear. What? He would rather watch Home on the Range than. Okay. Wow. That, that's the that's take. Uh, this goes against John Travolta's dog. This is there a no, bad versus bad. There ain't no nostalgia for this one at all. I take rescuers. I like the new characters. Miley Cyrus and Bolt. No, thank you. I have no desire to watch Bolt ever again. It's like they're, that's their Disney ploy in the middle 2000s is put a fat little gerbil in the lake, a cute little animal that's going to be like Pratt Falls the entire time. Like, get, get out of here. The movie's bad. Is it that bad? I, I watched it once. I barely remembered it. I don't know. It has Malcolm McDowell. And I Somebody asked just... me a trivia question from right now. No, this is another what question I missed. Is... That's, what, that's what I was going to say. I missed the fucking question from this movie in my match. It was like, what's the name of the cat? I don't know. Mittens. Yes, it's Mittens. Thank you. God damn it. Okay. Uh, Cody, rescuers are bold. Uh, the one without John Travolta. Okay, Kelly. Rescuers. I'll say Bolt. Mike. Rescues. Shit. Bolt. I I also would have said Bolt because I was eight when Bolt came out. Okay. <laughs> Grow up. I mean, it's, I I, ha I I would be a, I I would be willing to play Bolt. I'm not willing to play the rescuers. When I was eight, Mulan came out, all right? <laughs> you had a better childhood. We had better childhood. Uh, yeah, I had a better childhood than you, clearly. Okay. Gosh, you're, gosh, growing up, how do you even like Disney? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I was 28, I guess. Brother Bear. The Joker plays a bear in this movie. And Phil Collins 
does uses the songs he didn't use for Tarzan for some reason. Pretty sure the Joker also plays a bear in Brokeback Mountain. Fair. This movie is bad. <laughs> I this movie is real bad. Um, <laughs> Phil Collins. Well, Phil Collins does do this, right? I must. I I tuned out when you guys were talking. But did you guys say Phil Collins? Phil Collins Who does the music? Yeah. Phil Collins. Yeah, yeah. So he takes up what he was doing in Tarzan, and like amps it to a thousand, and be like, "This is going to be better." And it was bad. The moose. I I'm not from Canada, but I would be offended by the moose in this movie. I, I think that's very offensive. I'm not 100. percent And then there's only one funny part, and it's the thing is I can still hear his voice. Stop telling people I'm dead. That's the only part you ever laugh at. The movie drags on way too long, and the you, the ending you can predict from like five minutes into the film. But but one of the moose is played by Rick Moranis, and he's a goddamn treasure. I don't care. You don't get to see him. Doesn't count. Kelly, you have. Um, I I feel this is where I feel the generation gap between Disney because I feel people five to ten years younger than me really like this movie and must have grown up with it like on Disney Channel and DVD and things like that. Whereas I have no love for this movie. I find it really boring. Yeah, that movie. I'm watching go up against like. <laughs> It goes Dinos. against <laughs> Bernardo Bianca in Kangaroo Land. Oh, hey. Hey. this is easy. Yeah, that movie has a big bird called Marahut. No, this yeah. is like an actually fun adventure film. Like, it really is nothing like incredible. It's a really fun movie. John Candy is steals this movie. Yeah, it's it's just it's a middle tier Disney, but like. It's it's where like I would put it where Disney's like doesn't have any more bad movies like in that middle range that it's enjoyable throughout. It's just not one of my all time favorites, but yeah, a lot of fun. God damn it! And there are no crocodiles in this one. Adelaide either sucks or fucks. No other opinion. (laughs) Okay. We don't. No one values Spence's opinion on movies. We've learned this. Like. Cody, brother bear or rescuers down under? Oh, rescuers down under by a large yeah. margin. <laughs> rescuers down under. Vote. When I was three, I had a traumatizing experience being locked in the theater that was playing Brother Bear. Uh, so, rescuers down under. Mike? Rescuers down under. Both rescuers movies make it to round two. Yeah, good stuff. Okay. The next one was a movie where Disney was trying to go back to what it used to work. But in the box office, it didn't work. The Princess and the Frog. I think it was I. Uh, it's, uh, I. I watched it in the theaters. I felt like it fell out of place in 2010 for some reason. I do love Dr. Facilier. That character is insane. Uh, Friends on the Other Side is a great song. Everything with him, even the ending. And, and he actually gets to like kill a good character from Disney, which is particular. Uh, I hated, hated, hated Louis with the trumpet. That was, that was so bad. Uh, I like that they switched the story. They flipped it with the she turning into a frog instead of him turning into a prince right away. Uh, but I don't know, something didn't gel, and I, I'm kind of crushed that they are uh, reskinning uh, Splash Mountain to this. But whatever. Anybody else in the Prince of the Frog? Um, I feel like this movie's got a really strong beginning and a strong ending, and then the middle just washes it out. I love the soundtrack. The soundtrack's what I'll go back to, like on Spotify, because I really love the jazz style. I love Tiana as a princess. I think saving your pennies, working real hard each and every day. Great role model, but and and Facilier is the villain, so it's got like pieces there, it just didn't come together. Top 15 Disney for me, I do not care. I think this movie gets way too much hate for it. The soundtrack is fantastic, I love the characters throughout. Um, yeah, uh, Friends on the Other Side is arguably one of the best Disney villain songs, 
but I think just overall the music and the the color palette. It's like the last one to feature that animation style before uh, they switched to Tangled and everything else. Beyond that point, it's just there's a lot in this movie that I really enjoy, and I love the setting of it too. So they actually did three CGI movies and then we went back to the animation, and then they would never went back to it. Uh, Bo, you think about Louis on the fr the frog on the thing? Uh, I think I, I'm basically going to echo what Kelly said because I basically agree. I feel like this is a good movie that could have been a great movie. I think there are a lot of the pieces there. Keith David as Dr. Facilier is incredible. Keith David, we just don't appreciate enough in general. I love Keith David. I don't think Keith David's ever, ever been bad in things. He's been in a lot of bad movies. He's never been bad. Uh, but yeah, I think this movie, I, that's what frustrates me about this movie is that it could have been better. Keith David on this movie, Keith David in Coraline, Keith David in Rick and Morty. Fucking Keith David, man. Keith David Rick. in Community. Yes. Okay. Now there's a man who knows how to marry his cousin. <laughs> this Can movie goes with her. She got to be there. Does anybody actually like this? Oh, yeah. The people that are born in this like age group that love the songs and stuff. This movie's trash. And I wish more people would agree that these movies are bad. Like, here's the thing: Disney, I'm surprised Disney didn't go bankrupt during these two movie times because they were so bad. Here's the thing: Is Chicken Little a bad movie? Yes. Is it a movie I have watched an inhuman number of times because I loved it as a kid? And honestly, that soundtrack still slaps. Also, yes. On the ride to. Uh, Milwaukee. It starts playing. I can predict what the song is, and I go, and he goes, I, I know what you're thinking. This is from Chicken Little. And I was like, not what I was thinking at all. I'm going to be honest with you, but I, this movie, this is bad. This is overall a bad movie. It was One Little Slip by B&O, you know, which is a great song. I stand by it. should have been nominated for the Oscar day. Princess and the Frog. Princess and the Frog. Yeah, and the Frog. But, you know. Yeah, Splash Mountain 2. Mike, do you have anything to add to this? No, Prince of the Frog, pretty good fucking movie. It moves on. Princess and the Frog. Okay. A classic. Yeah, it is. Cinderella. I, I find this movie very boring. Like I have watched it several times. It's boring. Oh, I like this one. They did the 70th anniversary on the big screen last year and I went and it was magical. Um, I think it's just, it's an easy watch. Um, I love the color palette. Um, so it's got some of the best backgrounds with the dark blue and the silver castle. I find it um, very um, pulls me into that world. Um, I like the character of Cinderella a lot and the little mice helpers are those um, animal helpers that I don't find annoying. Like I think they, they remain quite cute throughout the movie and I love the cat, Lucifer. But um, I like this one a lot. I, when the live action remake is better than the original, then you think I, I feel like you have a problem, and I think that is the issue with uh, with Cinderella. I, I if I'm gonna watch the Cinderella version, I watch the live action one. This one, I don't know. It's it's I guess it's part of the era thing. It's a little bit too slow for me. It suffers from Bambi syndrome for me. Like I know the bits. It has the great transformations in. It has the. The fairy godmother, that part is all very interesting and fun. And the ending is actually kind of fun too. But it's a slog to get there. And yes, this movie is short, but it feels long as hell. Uh, I stand by Ever After is the best Cinderella movie. Uh -huh. uh, but I think this movie is okay, but it has great things about it. Lady Tremaine is top tier Disney villains. She is legitimately terrifying. 
Uh, I think it is the better of the two uh, Disney villains that, uh, that I don't remember her name, but that voice actress is also the, the person who did Maleficent. And, uh, and uh, I believe you're speaking about Eleanor Audley. Yes, thank you, Nazaria. Oh, you got a you got a voice actor question. Good job. Two points. Um, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> When Cinderella, I, Lady Tremaine, I think is a legitimately great character, uh, great villain. Uh, but uh, overall, I think it's okay. There's a lot of detours. And this movie goes against someone who has already shown up in this bracket before. But this is his better showing. Oh, the there. many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. The bear that has no pants. <laughs> I think this is uh, Winnie the Pooh by a mile. Uh, I know it's three short stories stitched together, but I would take watching uh, him stuck on a freaking hole trying to get honey or dreaming about heffalump and woozles over anything in Cinderella, to be honest. Uh, this is the introduction of Tigger. This is, it, it's a, nobody can really hate Winnie the Pooh. It's so lovable, it's so tender. <laughs> Uh, this movie is a warm hug. This movie is just... i It is hard for me to watch this movie without a smile on my face. Like, I, I just love this movie. I love this environment. I love these characters. Uh, I think I think uh, you just get a lot of uh, fun. I, I think the Huffle Lumps and Weasel song is just super fun. It's I'll say it. It's the better version of the Pink Elephant on Parade song from Dumbo. Uh, and I think... I just really like the character uh, here. I like Winnie the Pooh. I like Tigger. I like Piglet. Like I, I like Rabbit. Rabbit. Rabbit's a curmudgeon, but I like Rabbit. I, I just think this movie is just so wholesome. I love it. Um, okay. This movie, I, I like this movie. Uh, it's definitely the most classic of the Winnie the Pooh stories. It's the ones that my brain will go to the most. But I just feel like there's more in, Cinder in Cinderella with the three line. At least it's got a full story. I was going to sit there and say, man, Cinderella is boring as shit, and no one really should care about that besides Guts Guts, because he's the real hero of the whole story. Um, that's a fat mouse I can get behind of that fat poo. Um, so, yeah, the, when this came up, it was an easy decision for me. Um, yeah, three stories stitched together <laughs> called Cheap, like that <laughs> fucking cartoon. Rabbit, I want to see a rabbit story as Gran Torino. Get off my lawn. That's what I want to see. Tells Pooh to get his fat ass off his lawn. That's what I really want to see. Let's go. So that's two votes for Cinderella. Boatman, what do you vote for? How uh, many adventures of Winnie the Pooh? It's a tie. I vote for a many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Mr. DVD. Cody, you're going to have my back on one movie with the I Kit will, Russell in it? I will have your back, but remember, I get to the uh, you I did. gifted the sub. But yes, I will have your back on the call. Are you going to trust this man? This yes, man. Yes, I will. Send her out. Between <laughs> really nice. Oh, if it, I, will, so I, would sell out, I would sell out and anything for flipping that movie down and make it full <laughs> cool. So, Cinderella? Cinderella. Fuck you, Mike. <laughs> oh, I actually. I actually hope for the humans to pull the, the Squidward and all of them out of the. Yeah, if any. Uh, being, uh, for Mr. Krabs. Cody is no. Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I don't give a shit about those sponges. I'd fire that sponge. <laughs> Latest shit all the time. Walking around. Next talking. One, next oh. one. Let's be honest. You're Mr. Krabs. No, the boy, I had to. If we're you're, being a, you're Mr. So Krabs. Great. I'm SpongeBob. Co host Patrick. <laughs> okay. The next one is a movie for sure. with fishes in it. The Little Mermaid. Fishes. Does she sleep with the fishes, though? I guess. She sleeps under water. I don't know. I mean, she did for a while, but she changed her. I, I, I like have, this movie. I have mixed opinions on this one. Can I, Does anybody like it like a, like a lot? I enjoy it a lot. I, I've i always thought this was in top ten of Disney. It's went down a little bit over time for me, but... If I had to put soundtrack versus soundtrack, this is one that is almost hard to beat. I think Sebastian's songs are probably my favorite in Disney, 
throughout. Um, I think, and Ursula is top three villain of all time. It's not even close. Um, I think it gives a bad message. I can see that example, like body language. Um, but you know what? Um, I still enjoy a lot of this movie. It's got some great visuals throughout this. Um, yeah, so that's my choice. I, I I do not hate this movie. I think I think it's better. At- Kelly. Uh, I really love this one. This is one that keeps growing in my esteem, actually. Um, and I went to a screening where they had um, it on the big screen and they had the orchestra play underneath. So all the um, people played the live instruments for the whole score, not just the songs, just for the whole thing. And it was really transformative and immersed you in, in the story. And so you felt like you were on the seas and on the boat and everything. So, And these are, again, Ursula's just one of the go-to Disney villains. If you say Disney villains, she's one of the first ones that I'm thinking of because she's so effective and so impactful. So I, I love this one. Bo, do you agree? Uh, I think this is a movie with great characters, great story, great animation, and great music to the point where you almost forget about the fact that Ariel never learns anything and is rewarded for her awful decision. But I still, like, that's something that only you only, like, mind if you're thinking about it. Everything else, like, it distracts you from the, that kind of terrible fact. Yeah, people sell, like, people who criticize this movie keep saying, like, she sold everything she had for a man. And I think that's wrong. I think she sold everything she had for two legs and the opportunity to walk away from her father. But uh, still kind of weird message. And uh, yes, I think this is officially the start of the renaissance of Disney from the 90s. But it's not great. Okay. This one goes. One more new one. Against... Dinosaur. Oh, get out of here. Yeah. Arguably one of the worst Disney movies ever made. Like, it was. the worst. It's but yeah, this it, has it, a Iguanodon. It, it, it doesn't. This movie should have <laughs> never been made. This is the wrong studio. It, the, I think the animation looks bad. I think just overall, it is just this awful idea that Disney came up with and it did not I would agree I think top bottom five of Disney and it's I think it could be the worst this is a terrible Mike movie. Holy, you are the resident dino guy do you agree yeah these are terrible fucking dinos okay they're all triceratops as far as I know Fair. sweet little mermaid makes it I, I think they kind of tried to remake uh, The Land Before Time, but they sucked at it. Fair. The next one is a movie with a duck in it. Several ducks, actually. It's Duck Tales, the movie. Yeah. Trailer, it. Fuck yeah. Not a Disney Animation Studio movie, but a fucking Disney movie anyway, because Disney Afternoon was a thing. Uh, I saw this uh, in theaters. I did not know what was going on because uh, nobody told me we were watching this. And in Panama, the cartoon hasn't uh, hadn't started in TV yet, so I thought it was the movie first and the cartoon later. I was sorely mistaken. But if I'm gonna watch uh, a Ducktales Adventures, I actually think the the Legend of the Golden Suns, which is basically the movie made from the hey, first Chase. five episodes, is better. Anybody else have feelings on Ducktales? I have never seen an episode of DuckTales, nor have I seen the movie. Yikes. A DuckTales. I watched the Quack Pack as a kid. I remember Quack Pack. Mike, I've, I've definitely watch- got a soft spot for like the Disney afternoon with Tailspin and Gummy Bears and Chip and Dale. Uh, like, please, the no. best cartoon theme songs, like those ones hands down. Um, but I don't remember what makes the movie separate from the series. Like, it's all just blurred into one for me. So, no strong opinion. Darkwing Duck, I think, is the best part of the Disney afternoon. But I think uh, we might push Duck through because it's going up against the like. Uh, okay. In- 
Lion King. Lion King. I'll throw you off the fucking cliff <laughs> if you say <laughs> it's Lion King. Lion King. Fine. I I can I will back down on certain Disney movies over Lion King for certain people. Ducktales is fucking one of them. I'm sorry. The you have that what 18th on your list or something? What is your crazy ranking on that, Nazario? I'll tell uh, you after because I'm just following it now. I don't have a number on it. Okay, the Jungle Book. Mowgli, Bagheera, Baloo. These are names from characters in this movie. I feel bad for this movie because I I I stand by it. I my kids watched it the other day. I think the 2016 version is way superior than this version. I love the animation. I love like the some of the singing elements of this movie. But overall, when you break down, this movie is not that great. And I feel bad. Like the soundtrack's good, but like the movie itself is just. Nowhere close to what they were able to capture with John Favreau's vision um, 2016. So this is the first time that I realized something without nobody telling me about animation, and I was like eight years old when I saw this movie, and then I saw Robin Hood, and I was like, "Huh, those bears look very similar, and that snake looks like that other snake, and the dancing they're doing seems suspiciously similar." Yes. At eight years old, I realized Disney was reusing animation from a previous movie in the 70s. And it was kind of sad. But I do like the Jungle Book. I don't think it's great by any means, but I do like uh, especially King Louis' song about the, the red flower and want to be like you. That, that's good stuff. And uh, yeah, also, like, what is her name? Ka? The snake? Is it Ka? Yeah. yeah. It's a good fucking snake. Anybody else has seen uh, enjoyed this jungle book thing? Music's good. I like the music. It's, yeah, I, I like the jungle book. I, I like the character Bagheera a lot. Um, we talked about Rabbit before, but I definitely love the like stick in the mud, uptight characters and Bagheera's that like the sensible ones. So that's the, my favorite character from the movie. But it, it's a good movie. It's fine. I think yeah. that this is an incredible movie when I'm not watching it. Like that, I think there are the stuff like that sticks with me with this movie. You know, I want to be like you. The stuff with Ka, Bear Necessities, Bagheera. That stuff is all fantastic. But then when you actually sit down and watch the movie, you also have to, you know, I, I don't like the vultures. I think the vulture song, we can cut it. The the elephant marching. Eh. I think there's a, a lot of like great in this movie, specifically George Sanders' and Shere Khan. Shere Khan is an yeah. underrated Disney villain. He is such, like, just, he's a super villain, basically. Just such, like, he, he has this power, like, but he's not, like, a big group. He just kind of likes to toy with everything and just kind of, oh, I just want to take care of the man cup and all this stuff. I, I think, and that comes out to the voice performance, which I think is done. And I think later they would get another dignified British actor uh, to voice an intelligent cat with Scar. I feel like Shere Khan is like proto-Scar, basically. Yeah. This movie is going to go against another early classic. How about an elephant that can fly with his ears? Okay, Jungle Book. Come on. Come on. Dumbo is trash. Dumbo's not good. Sorry, Dumbo guys. makes me ugly cry. Like, I can't handle it. No. Nah. Yeah, we're not going to make Kelly do this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But if you want to, you send her, you send her gifts of them. There, you, if you there just send me that gif of him with the tears streaming down, and I'll lose it. I will send my baby mine. I think you guys are being too hard on Dumbo. I think Dumbo is, the music good is enough great and short enough. It was barely a movie. Uh, I do like the Tim Burton version better. So, whatever. I'm with Nazario on this. I am, uh, well, it's directed by Tim Burton, so I'm out. But uh, maybe if somebody else is there. So, Jungle Book, Jungle Book, Boatman? Jungle Book. Mike? Jungle Book. Yes, yeah, Jungle Book. Hmm. 
Okay. We're almost halfway to round one. Jesus. The next one is Fantasia 2000. A better Fantasia. Is it though? Fucking yikes. I'll be right back. Keep going. Is any of them good? Sorry, not really. My bad. Brandon, Rhapsody. what do you like about 2000? Uh, I think Rhapsody in Blue is incredible. Yes. I like it. Uh, I, I love the stuff, the whales. I love the firebird. Uh, I think there's a I, I just think segment to segment, there's really only one in 2000 I don't like, and it's the flamingo with the yo yo. I think on rewatch, the original Fantasia dragged a lot more. I don't think this one really drags at all in terms of segments. I think all the segments besides the Flamingo with the Yo-Yo are great. Wait, what the fuck was this gun? <laughs> <laughs> I put it up there. You didn't see it. <laughs> no. And yeah, Fantasia 2000. Is it better than the original? Yes. Uh, is it, it, is it less Please say crappy? they're going against each other. Please say they're going against yeah. each other. Do no, it. They're not. Well, no, they're not. You're trash. This one is going against the hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, okay, hunchback. fast. Okay. Hunchback. Hunchback fast, Mike. Here you go. This movie is great. This is actually my favorite uh, Disney animated movie of all time. Uh, I know it's not for everybody. I know the gargoyles suck. I will be <laughs> open and agree to that. But Judge Claude Froll is one of the best villains. Uh, and the fact that he's a human villain and is based on some semblance of reality of people just being damn racist, uh, it's, it's kind of deeper meaning for me. And the fact that there's a song about goddamn horniness in Disney is a particular thing that I never thought I wanted, and I enjoyed every second of it. The guy literally sees the woman dancing on the fire as a temptress and said, well, God, either kill her or give it to me. I'll take either or. And then he burns down Paris looking for the woman. That's a desperate, horny man right there. Uh, Rolo just needs to get laid. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't I'll know why he doesn't do it. Like, he's I, like, hate, I, I hate to do this, but I think this movie is... Um, not great. I've said that before. I think this movie gets way too much praise. I've said this and this may give me some hate, especially from Kelly. I don't know if she's heard this opinion, but I think Quasimodo has one of the worst singing voices in any Disney animated movie. Oh, I, think, oh, no. I think his singing in this movie... I, I think his singing voice in this movie is atrocious. Like, oh, there are great numbers, right? I think the villain of this movie is great. Those gargoyles kick rocks. Like, worst decision ever. Um, one of the things, but arguably one of the most cringiest singing voices ever. I can't stand that. So, no, I think the singing is like one of the only parts that I really like. This movie, it's not for me. Um, I think it's only mid tier, yes. but I love the out there song and I love him singing it. I'll oh, go for that one. So, it. yeah. Um, but otherwise, I've got no strong opinion on this one. I hate the opinion, but I wish they didn't put him in the watch. You know, the movie could have been like five minutes long. Take care. Cody, what's your vote? Uh, between the two, I will give Hunchback the pass on this one. But I'm not fully surprised that, again, your pick goes up against some layups like this. This is video <laughs> store bullshit that happens all the time. And I'm, I'm, I'm tired of it. Is it a layup? I'll say hunchback too. It's a hundred percent a layup. There's uh, fire. Mike, Mike at least is gonna vote for that one. Hunchback fest. Hunchback is a sweep. God damn it. I'm happy. Hunchback should get like a layman style live action musical remake. The next one is a movie about a mouse. 
There you uh, go, Cody. That's for you. For the century. <laughs> Some say this movie saved the studio, and those people might be right because the Black Cauldron almost killed it. So the Great Mouse Detective. Very well liked, very well received. Anybody? Did, uh, Disney's like best it? movie of the 80s. I stand by it. This movie is awesome. Like a Basil. Better than the Little Mermaid? Nice. Yes. No, I stand by it. Better than the Little Mermaid. Uh, Basil. Well, I, I like that he talks like it's a high bench to clear in the 80s. The only one that has <laughs> to clear is 80 is Little Mermaid. The rest are garbage. And he I like Oliver and Company. Like, I'm, hey, I'm hey, going to say it. Best. Watch them. That movie's depressing as hell. Like, no one's running back. Like, it's good, but no one's running back to it. I'm just glad that you planted your flag in the 80s and said the best <laughs> ever. Basil is an incredible character. I love Basil. Uh, Radigan. Radig Vincent Price's Radigan is so much fun. Uh, just one of the funniest Disney villains. And the, the villain song is great. I think this, this movie is awesome. This is underrated. This is maybe one of the most underappreciated Disney movies out there. Definitely underrated. I'll be right back. I think there's a bee in my room. <laughs> the fuck? Be careful. You steal some honey? Be careful. They like to sue. Oh, shit. It's an actual bee. <laughs> oh, it got hit with the fan. It's pissed now. <laughs> Let's talk with the other one. I'll be right back. <laughs> Uh, the Great Mouse Detective goes against Fantasia. I don't like the original Fantasia. I like I like Sorcerer's Apprentice. I like the opening, yeah. and I like uh, Night on Bald Mountain. I don't like the rest of the segments. I'm in a lot of the same boat. I think those are the two that, that stand head and shoulders above the rest and have become like iconic. So that's what, what you think of. But when I rewatched the movie as an adult, I was like, oh, that happened. Oh, that there's something about the Greek gods and things like that. Like I completely forget those are actual parts of the movie. But Sorcerer's Apprentice, like that Mickey outfit and shot is just so classic. So oh, yeah. I, I do like that one. Yeah, I agree with Kelly. Nothing really memorable except for Sosa the Apprentice to me for Fantasia. Great Mouse Detective all the way for me on this one. Yeah, Great Mouse Detective. I do great like Fantasia. I'm, I'm keeping my, my cam off because I turn <laughs> off the light to hope that the bee flies out of the room. <laughs> I turn off the light on the bathroom, so it may be there. Uh, this movie drags. Uh, it's way too long. Uh, he was trying to do something that was not nobody asked him to do. Trend the sound was a thing, uh, but I wasn't alive in the 40s, so I don't know if that actually worked. Uh, other than that, yes, Sorcerers, Mickey, it's it's a classic. So uh, that gets some points, I guess. Vote! I'm, I'm going to say it. Best Fantasia ever. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm going great, Mouse Detective. Great, Mouse Detective. Mouse Detective. Mouse Detective. Well, uh, I'm not surprised that one has Vincent Price on it, so that's what Mike's voted for. The Great Mouth Deck makes it. Vincent Price. Okay. The next one. Tim Burton's back! Frank and Winnie made it! Was voted in. One of the filler spots. I think uh, this is uh, one of the best versions of his style put on an animated movie for kids. When he tried to do the, the Corpse Bride for another studio, he was still not feeling like very comfortable with the with the animation style. So he got Mike Johnson to direct it for him. But this is all Burton. Like he finally felt confident enough. He uh, used some designs that he had kept from his drawings from the short. I don't know if you guys have seen the short in the eighties, which is actually pretty yeah. good. But. Yeah, this is like that uh, with an orchestra behind it. And they did do one thing to make it longer that I didn't really like. But other than that, I think it's a, it's a great fucking movie. And good for Disney for making it in black and white. Uh, I think that this is Tim Burton's best animated movie. I think this is just awesome. Uh, it, it's just a really fun throwback to like 30s uh, Universal. <coughs> 
Rocky movie. <laughs> it's just a, it, it's a love letter to those types of movies, and I really enjoy it. Uh, I, I think this movie is just super fun. I watch this just about every Halloween. Have you watched it, Kelly? I've watched it. I can't remember a lot about it, which is why I'm not saying a lot. I think it's pretty, yeah, basic. And I think it's maybe one of the things where it, it couldn't adapt to a full movie. Like, they stretched it, so it's like The Hobbit to Nightmare Before Christmas, Lord of the Rings, yeah. in that sense. But, um, no, I just met on this one. Hold on, I'm going to go full screen because I can't... Re oh, you took it off. I needed to read something. I, who directed this? <laughs> oh, Trash. Okay, we'll move on. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for slowing down the show. <sighs> okay. It's probably better than Batman Returns. But... That movie goes against an 80s movie. Is it the best 80s movie? <laughs> oh, it is the best 80s well, movie. Well, it has a dog, <laughs> but it also has a fox. Fox and a half. Easy, fox and a hound, no questions. Yes. Which one has Kurt Russell in it? Is the dog... Well, that's why I'm voting for it. I, I sold my soul to the devil for the first round, and I will stand by it. Yes. But I, I guess Frank and Wayne, he didn't even have to make that deal. It would already happen, but he should have bet for second round. A, I legitimately like Frank and Wayne more than Fox and the Hound, and B, I, I really like Frank and... Cody, you have to understand, that's a Boatman movie. That's Universal Classic Monsters animated comedy. Uh, and B... I don't uh, respect the collusion between Cody and Mike. So. <laughs> I got other collusions for you, Bowman. Say ya! <laughs> Fox in the Hound is a great fucking movie. There's no questions asked. I killed the bee. <laughs> I'll go hold the funeral. Yeah, it's true. It was weird. Uh, Russell was in this movie. I, I thought it was in the back. Actually, your first, your first this. affiliate stream, and you kill something on, you kill something while you're on call. Oh gosh, don't lose that sound. No, sense. the weird part is like I thought it had gone to the bathroom because it stopped bothering me. But then when I walked back, it was dying where I'm sitting right now. So I just squished. Okay, threw it out the window. Frank and Weenie. Fox and the Hound. Frank and Weenie. Fuck Fox you. And the hound. Fox and the Hound. God damn it. Why did it have to have Bam, that? elimination. <laughs> Lack of education. <laughs> that, that was a good joke, Cody. I'll give you that one. Gotcha. Okay. The next one is an overrated movie. Where is it? Very, very, very overrated movie. The Emperor's New Group. Hi! Nope. Hey, nope. Where are you? Mm -mm. Some people have this in their top 20, which is fucking crazy. Top 10. Top God, 10, damn. sir. This movie is incredible from start to finish. David Spade has never been funnier in a movie. Pair him with John Goodman and then Eastman Kronk. Oh, this is just a ball of laughs throughout. I think this is one of the funniest Disney movies. It's probably my second favorite, the second funniest Disney movie behind one that takes place in Hawaii. But I think by far this is, it's, it's a great buddy journey um, and two different means coming together to face a challenge. They make him a llama, which before then the llama stock was completely down in the dumps. No one wanted to be a llama, but after this movie, llama didn't look so bad after that. Oh, uh, can I go home? Oh, one of my favorite lines in the entire movie. <laughs> can, I get to can I go home? Yeah, you can. So great movie. You guys, uh, you guys seem very strongly supporting of this one. Hmm. It goes against Frozen. I stand by it. Emperor's New Groove is better than this. Frozen is like. Here's the thing. I think Frozen is one of those movies that, like, it came out and then it got this wave of like, oh, this is amazing. And then it got this wave of, oh, this is terrible. When in reality, both sides were wrong and this movie is aggressively okay. Is it more okay or less okay than Big Hero 6? It is. I think this is slightly better than Big Hero 6. So I will say Big Hero 6 is still more okay. Because this is not like as... This has some really good things about it. 
I do think the songs are legitimately great. Most of them. Actually, I'm. I, I hate to do this to everybody. I think everybody else can shut up. I'm kind of an expert on this movie. Um, this is my daughter's favorite movie. Um, and unlogged on Letterbox probably a total of twenty five times watching this film. Um, so far, probably this year. Um, this movie's garbage. Uh, this movie is absolute garbage. I hate everything about them. The songs make me want to, like, I start twitching. Um, this movie started, like, three and a half, possibly four star, fine. I think it's down to a two and a half at this point. It just keeps dropping on every watch. Um, Olaf, I would flip and use a flamethrower on that damn thing tomorrow. Like, in he wants to feel what a snowman in summer, end him. Um... I will say one of the best turns still to this day. I've seen it 45, probably thousand times at this point, but when she turns, maybe you'll find somebody to actually love you. That moment is still like you motherfucker, you bitch. Uh, yeah. But overall, this movie is just mediocre. It's fine. It's okay. The sequel's garbage as well. Um, I'll stand by that. They're just, they're both. This, this is just like, I think this movie is just built in a factory. This movie was just made in a factory to sell things and to be appealing and to have those cool things for little girls. And believe me, it fucking worked. I think this movie was made to trip John Travolta in the Oscars. <laughs> Kelly. As is I like Frozen, but I love Empress New Group. Say Empress New Group. I'll say Frozen. Mike Hanley. Empress New Group. Cody. Boom, baby! And both. And for Jean Bird, come on. You know what? Every time you comment on stuff, Nazario, it's like you threw off my groove. So I, I really <laughs> I'm sorry, you threw off Cody's groove. <laughs> oh, I no, the groove. Not, I honestly do not understand. I mean, I, I find that movie funny, but forgettable. I guess that's uh, it. You were too old when it came out. Yes, because I, I was coming from all the things that they did in the 90s, and then they're like, yeah, this thing. And I was like, okay. You also think Ghostbusters funny, so that's your own problem. So. Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters is funny. Other than Back to the Future. Yeah, we're talking about Frozen 2 now. <laughs> Basically, about it's the same thing, but again, and more convoluted. It has the best song from any Frozen ever inside this movie. Is it Lost, Lost in the Woods? In the woods uh, honestly, one of no. the best things ever. I'm telling you right now, it makes you feel like it's an 80s ballad. And I the 80s music video and everything that they do in this movie, this, move, this song always will bring a smile to my face. Bowman agrees with me. Bowman absolutely loves it. He also loves it when Weezer covers it. It's a great. I do love great, the Weezer great. cover. I'll give you the Weezer cover being great because Weezer can do no wrong except, okay, they have done wrong. But, <laughs> but. Do the other yeah. one and show yourself are right. better than Lost in the Woods. Show Come yourself. On. Show yourself. Yes. Both. Okay. Yeah, we didn't say anything yeah. about the movie itself. This doesn't paint well for Frozen. <laughs> Frozen 2 goes against the Black Cauldron of Bridget. John Hurt is in this movie. Yes. Nigel Hawthorne is also in this movie. I don't know anything else. I think this I movie know. is kind of bad. I think the Horn King is a cool villain. I, I'm there's a train of people that are like, hey, this movie got way too much hate. Actually, like, I'm not one of those people. I think this movie is kind of bad. Kind of hate. Kind of yeah. bad. This movie's awful. And we yeah. have to put it against Frozen 2. Visario, be better. Do something better. I don't care if it's even your rankings that we have to dissect and break down. Do something. This is atrocious. We have said bye to good movies. Come, I would rather a Winnie the Pooh. Actually, I won't say that. But you know what? I'm gonna. Yeah, this is. I'm gonna go Frozen Two. Frozen Two. Black Cauldron's just awful. Frozen Two at least has lost in the woods. It was one of those people who actually defended the Black Cauldron for the longest of time, and then I tried to watch it last year again. I'm really not surprised. It's not. <laughs> okay. not. Frozen 2. So one of the Frozens makes it. 
Check. The next movie is about cats. Erase the cats. I, I, like I, I like this one. Um, okay. I like the Jesto. I like the three kids. I think Thomas O'Malley is the most charismatic Disney character ever put to film. Uh, <laughs> he's the man. Um, I, I like this one. This is one I definitely grew up with. So uh, maybe I've got really thick nostalgia goggles for it. But I like the story. I like the characters. And I love the music. So this is one that's up there for me. The song's a, this song is a lie. Everybody wants to be a cat. Uh, I'm definitely allergic to cats. I fucking don't want to be a cat <laughs> at all. I would die. Um, but I think this movie gets a lot of hate. Um, unnecessary hate. Um, I never watched it. I think it's not really, like, didn't age the best. They made some real bold choices um, in this that are not politically correct today. But as Nazario and Mike would say, I'm not as woke as everybody else in this community. Um, I think it is. I think it's... I think it's an enjoyable time. Um, it matters what it's going against, but I think it's closer to the bottom tier of Disney, but it's it could be a middle tier. matters what mood I'm in, which is normally a bad mood. So, eh. Okay. The Aristocats goes against Fun and Fancy Free. Make this, this is quick. the one with Bongo. The this is the one with Bongo the Bear and the fucking beanstalk to the giant thing. We we said the answer. It's Aristocats. We can just Here's make this really quick. Hey, so Aristocats, if you want to watch, don't watch Fun and Fancy Free. Watch Mickey and the Beanstalk. Just the yes. short. There's a reason yeah. they put yeah. that short on its own. Because that short is good. The creepy puppets in this are not. <laughs> I don't I like, I like puppet. the puppets. I, like the puppet. I don't like the puppets. They make me. I, or, I don't like the slapping. Is this the one with the slapping bear? Yes. That one? Yes, oh, this is this is one. Bad one. lessons. Bad life lessons. Is the slapping True. bear and then and more puppets with Charlie and Mortimer and then the being Jack and the Beanstalk and then the giant opens the roof of the house and it's over. No. Aristocats. Fine. Put the cats in. I hate the cats, but I really don't like that movie. The next one is Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Wow. Good luck. Oh, famous Nazario. They don't tell the real story of Hercules. They, he doesn't kill them and, and murder people. Yeah, no, no. This is great. Yeah, that was that was my take. Thanks for ruining it. I do not like the way they <laughs> reinterpret the myth. I don't like that they ignore the fact that Hercules is half human. Uh, the thing that drink the whole bottle and just leave one drop out is kind of stupid. <laughs> this movie is fine. Best villain. One of the best villains. Sorry, I can't say best villain. Sure. One of the best villains. That is, awesome. that is true. That is true. Hades is awesome. Pain and and Pain Meg. Is great. Meg is a great character. I won't say I'm in love. Is an underrated Disney song. I stand by that for the best song in this movie. Um, I think Danny DeVito sings a song that I enjoy more, but okay. I love the soundtrack on the whole because I love the muses and yeah, I love the muses and the gospel singing and the way that they combined it with that. I think the soundtrack's one of the best ever. I love the do 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 do. I think they're great narrators throughout the whole film, and it keeps coming back to the bars and telling the ancient Greek myths. So I, I think that's really strong. Enough. I still one of my favorite things: indoor plumbing. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. <laughs> <laughs> I still laugh every time. I <laughs> Pain and Panic are great. Uh, Bobcat Goldwith. It's one of those. You know what? It kind of reminds me of Mike and you. Well, Mike and Nazario. Pain and Panic. I never put that together until right now. I'm pretty sure it's, that's me and Coho is Pain and Panic. Oh, what you caused me? Sure. But he oh, also caused me pain and you That reminded me that Coho never came back. Okay. Uh, <laughs> This goes for some adventure to think about a Mr. Toad. Yes, we can vote it out. <laughs> yes. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. I stand by both of these segments are awesome. 
I think the the wind in the willow stuff is some of the specifically the end chase scene for the deed is some of the best slapstick you'll ever see in Disney. And the I used to not love the Sleepy Hollow segment, but the more I watch it, the more it grows on me. A because of Bing Crosby's like scene. B, I just think the the atmosphere is super fun. Like this is this is one I watch every October. I really like the I have the opposite. I like Sleepy Hollow and the Window Willows is the one I kinda grow bored with. But Mr. Toe's Wild Ride was great, and I hate that they took it off Disneyland in Orlando because I haven't been able to ride that because I have not gone to California. So, Cody voted Hercules. Kelly, what do you say? Hercules. I say Sleepy Hollow. Both. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Her uh, this is tough, actually. Adventure of the Vicabod and Mr. Toad. You are two and a half hours away from me. Are you sure you want to make a decision today? <laughs> Mike Hanley, uh, you've decided to vote or you want to leave it to the chat? Mr. Mike, Toad is I'm a great waiting. fucking ride, but I'm going to leave this up to the chat because we haven't gone to the chat in a while. So I'll leave it up to okay, the chat. Okay, chat. Mike we have Hanley. So make it with Mr. Toad and Hercules. It's gonna, I'm, you I'm, know who's going to win in the chat, Cody. You know who's going to win in the chat. I hope Kurt Russell doesn't need a vote next round. <laughs> That's one Hercules. That's two Hercules. He doesn't even... Is that a Hercules? Three Hercules. Park? That's three Hercules. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, I would have voted Hercules too, but I wanted to leave it up to the chat. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a fucking destroying... Yeah, it's, it's all it's, Hercules all day. It's horrifying. It's horrifying. But it's happening right now. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you realize that, but we did like 10 movies that started with the. Yes, we did. We're done with that. Tarzan. Phil Collins, a movie. Phil Collins, second appearance in this. I love this movie. I, I gave this movie five stars. I think this is uh, one of the best 90s movies. Top tier for me is Beauty and the Beast, Lion King, Hunchback, and Tarzan. Uh, I think everything works. Uh, I forgot the name. The guy from Ghost, the one that was the actual killer, is the voice of Tarzan. What's his name? Um, Tony Goldman. Tony Goldman. Yes. I think he's pretty great in this. Mini Driver is great. Uh, I like the way everybody voiced their characters. Feel natural. I really like Lance Henriksen and Glenn Close as the gorilla parent. The only one that's like weird is Rosie O'Donnell, but that, I mean, it's Rosie O'Donnell. And the way Clayton goes out in this movie, gold right there. Anybody else has feelings for Tarzan? I feel like Tarzan's soundtrack is a subject of controversy. Uh, some people really like it. Some people absolutely hate it. It's a great I, soundtrack. I yeah. think that here's the thing. It's a combination of, A, how do you feel about Phil Collins? And B, how do you feel about the songs not being sung by the characters? And I like Phil Collins, and I don't mind that these songs are not sung by the characters. I actually think for this story, I'm okay that Tarzan isn't belting out. Like, I want to know. I think it works better when it's in the background with Phil Collins. Uh, I think that... Uh, uh, Targren is actually like the way you see his progression is really cool. I wish there was a little more focus on when he was a kid and we didn't just like that was not just the first like 15 20 minutes of the movie, but I do think this is a good movie. So, you like the sequel they made when he was a kid, the whole movie? <laughs> I stand no, by this. But that movie is not the worst thing ever. Um, 28 weeks ago, I put out a review for this movie. Skip the movie, just listen to the soundtrack. Nazario commented 28 weeks ago, your worst take yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> and by the way, I know Boltman really likes this song because I heard him blaring Son of Man while he was um, taking a shower um, Why in Milwaukee. That's what uh, it's, it's a confirmed what happened. <laughs> Why well, I was trying to watch God the Irish damn. roasting the shit out of him <laughs> live on camera. 
I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> this movie <laughs> goes against Home on the Range. Oh, oh, okay. shenanigans. <coughs> no. Perfect. This Perfect. is awful. Yeah, no. Like, come on. I, I will say Roseanne Barr as a cow is perfect casting. I'm not Damn. stupid, Tarzan. <laughs> Tarzan. It says Buster Moo on the poster. That's just bad. That's just bad. The For only while, good thing yeah. about that movie is Patrick Warburton. For a while, that was the last 2D animated movie they did, and it was really sad. Thank God for The Princess and the Frog, though. Vote! Cody, what do you want? Tarzan. I will Tarzan. Tarzan. Phil Collins in movie. Tarzan! Yay! Okay. <laughs> the next one. It's a movie about dogs. Lady and the Tramp. <laughs> I have no strong opinions either way. I do like the remake they did for Disney Plus. Anybody actually likes or dislikes this very strongly? Meh. I think there's some really bad takes and things on this. I think like the, the dinner scene is still one of like Disney's magic like moments, but overall. <laughs> um, yeah. I like the He's a Tramp song a lot. That's a great song. Um, but uh, the, the spaghetti meatball scene, very cute. And I like the opening scene where they get the dog and they put her in the bed and they're like, okay, just for tonight. And she sleeps there forever because if you have pets, I think that's very true. But that's the only memorable things for me. Fair. That movie goes. Against Tangled, the Rapunzel story told for modern audience. Tangled is a movie I initially thought was just okay. Like, I saw it when I was 10, and I never really had a strong desire to come back to it. And I revisited it, like, a couple of years ago. And I really like it. And every time I watch it again, I like it a lot more. Uh, I, I think that Flynn and Rapunzel are maybe the best, one of the best Disney couples. Uh, and I, I really like the side characters, specifically Maximus. Maximus is so much fun. And sure. the music's actually really good. I, I feel I really like the song they sing when, when they are lifting the lanterns. I see the lights is beautiful. Light. It's a lovely song. Uh, I actually like that song better than anything in Frozen, like that particular song. But yeah, and, and the other thing that I, I kind of hate it a bit is that they just some countries actually named this Rapunzel, which it is. This is the Rapunzel. That's what that should have been called. I know they were going for something different. They tried to do the DreamWorks thing with the t with the title, with the focus on the Zachary Levi character, and also uh, the damn horrifying poster that I chose not to put here with the eyebrows between the hair. Like, yeah, uh, you know, like, yeah, right here, we're fucking. I hate that poster. I, I really don't like the, the DreamWorks eyes on Disney characters. Uh, this is top six Disney for me. I absolutely love uh, Tangled. I think Tangled gets completely underrated. Um, why people don't give this movie more credit. Uh, it's one of the most expensive Disney movies because they tried the animation for the first time. I think Mother Gothel is absolutely incredible as a villain yes. in this movie. Um just all the way to the end and i think they're the singing performances overall the character work uh i have a i've got a dream i believe that's the title of it i got it wrong in a trivia match so i never get it right but is well, also one fair. of those like that bar scene is one of the my uh one of my favorites in disney so yeah i'm a huge single too i think i believe it's donna murphy who also was in spider-man 2 the one who does mother gothel where the fuck is Jake and Michael when you need them? Exactly. I'm not sure, but I, I, I honestly, uh, never mind. I wish my daughter loved this movie more than Tangled. So, Tangled or Lady and the Trump? Tangled. 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 It is Tangled. Sweet. 
The next one. I should have been I should have been keeping track. How many more? Oh shit. Give me a second. One, two, three, four, five. Shit, we have still have like nine to pick in round one. Okay. We can do faster. Dwarves. Or <laughs> alien. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Top top six Disney right here. Lilo and Stitch is way better than this. It's a fucking apple. She's an idiot. Like, I'm sorry. She's a fucking <laughs> idiot. Um, she took an apple from an old woman. Like, sorry. No, thank you. Lilo and Stitch is the funniest Disney movie ever. And now I hate this poster that you put up. I don't know where the fuck you got this because poster. Because Winnie the Pooh? Yeah, because why the uh, uh, Stitch well, ripping Winnie the Pooh open would have been a lot better poster. So. I, I I remember the marketing com campaign. Oh, my marketing. gosh. Boltman is that? Uh, what's the one I did? Plinkly. You're Plinkly. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> For the entire weekend, and just realized why you like this movie so much. You're in the film. <laughs> You're even as tall as him, I think. Oh my god! I'm jumping. I'm jumping. <laughs> 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 oh my god! What does that mean? Does he have a brother? Friendly cousin. <laughs> Neighbor with a beard. <laughs> yeah, uh, Snow White. Snow White may be a classic for its time, but that that movie, that movie's just fine to me. I, I have watched it. Lilo and Stitch. I've watched it. It's it's oh. incredible. It's in my top ten movies of all time. Lilo and Stitch. Cody said Lilo and Stitch. Kelly. Um. Oh, it's a bit harder for me. I've watched both within the last year and they both like grew in my esteem. Um, I think there's much more to Snow White than what I originally watched, but I think it is Lilo and Stitch. Moldman. I'm you are oh, that's Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> Mike. Yeah, Lilo and Stitch. Clay Sweet. No respect on the arena. Oh, it didn't first let's give its praises. Blah blah blah. Okay. The next one. My personal favorite of the package films, Make Mine Music. And the only one of these movies not able to be found on Disney Plus for some goddamn reason. Weird. Versus Sleeping Beauty. Is that not on Disney Plus? This is not on Disney Plus. I don't. I haven't looked for it, it, but I'm gonna find that really shocking. I think you're taking the other one. No, I said I make my it. music is the only oh, one. Oh, sorry. I stand by make my music is the better version of Fantasia, but Sleeping Beauty is an actual movie. Boom, um, most in Disney. Aren't they all Sleeping Beauty? Both? I mean, yes, Beauty. music is my favorite of them because it's the one I grew up with, the one my parents own on VHS and Betamax, actually, first. Betamax, yes. And uh, I, I actually really love, like, most of the shorts, but it does have the ones that drag. It has the one with the freaking window that you just look at the window for, like, five minutes and it's awful. And it has, like, a couple more like that, but you know what never gets talked about is the cats. You know the all the cats join in the the pencil drawing the thing. It's kind of misogynistic uh, these days, but uh, eh, I like it. Okay, Sleeping Beauty gets my vote too. Mike, Sleeping Beauty. Cody, I think Sleeping Beauty is boring as hell, but sure, Sleeping Beauty is fun. Kel, Sleeping Beauty, please. Sleeping Beauty, sweet. I like princesses that hit people with frying pans. I don't like want to sleep all the damn time. Somebody Our asked me shoes. trivia once. Somebody asked me in trivia once, "What's the 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 princess with the least dialogue?" And I was like, "It has to be Sleeping Beauty." And it was it was Sleeping Beauty. I was like, "Well, you know." <laughs> Saludos, amigos. Some people mistakenly assume that the Three Caballeros was a sequel to this. They were wrong. This movie 
I don't know. It goes. <laughs> it can spit the robins. Oh. 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 Why, Nazar? Why? I, I like Meet the Robinsons. I'm I shocked. Think I'm too. <laughs> Isn't it? Is it a great movie? No. Is it a movie with actually really fun characters? And when uh -oh, I was back, uh oh, I'm back. How much? I'm a bitch. How mad am I gonna be? How mad am I gonna be? Ichabod's out. Fuck. Ichabod's out. Uh, Damn but, it. Oh, back me up. And if you Meet were here, Robin. it would have won. Ah, fuck. That's back annoying. Me. Meet the Robins is better than uh, than uh, Saludos Amigos, right? Meet the Robinsons is better than Saludos Amigos. Cool. Uh, Meet the Robinsons, Meet Good the Robinsons is, is is really funny. It has a lot of good humor that, like, at least it's up my alley uh, in terms of the, the Disney jokes. It's one of the better ones to come out of the 2000s. I think the whole family is a lot of fun. Uh, and Stelly Dismios is existing. Nico, I will drive to Facebook. So, uh, so I those two are voting for Meet the Robinsons. Yeah. Cody. I'm just setting up an easy round one, round two matchup right here. I'll put Meet the Robinsons through just for it to get knocked out in round two because I don't believe either one should, but you believe in chaos. Kelly. Robinsons. It's at least a full movie, as Some we said. For, yeah. Meet the Robinsons, Mike. You have yeah. Oh, you get it? Meet he's the he's a T-Rex. He's got a big hat and little arms. <laughs> it's I a good joke. It is, full it, pop it is a good joke. You're trash. Harry Potter Jr. is a frog. That's great. The next one is Animal Robin Hood. Yeah, what movie what rocks. animal is uh, Friar Tuck? I, I feel like that might be important later. That, that'd be a good yeah. question to ask. Melody <laughs> time. Oh, easy. Robin Hood. No, Robin, Robin Hood. Robin, Robin Hood. Hood. Put, put it through. Melody time is the word for my music. Robin Hood is honestly a really strong movie. Really good. Peter Uchenov and Prince John is incredible. And what does the rooster sing? Rudolali. Oh, and the whistle tier. stop. Top Boom. tier song. I I mean, mean, Peter England, which is my favorite song. <laughs> the next one's Moana. Yeah. Some people may call her Vianna. Uh, the Who? way better movie that came out the same year. People in Britain and I Europe, agree. because that was the one movie was called there in Europe for some reason. I don't know. That goes against another one of the planes. Return to Neverland. Oh, okay, that's a, well, that's a bummer. Return, Return to Neverland. Neverland. How far? How far will you go? <laughs> Not past the first round. Get out of here. Yeah, no, I would like to say on behalf of Return to Neverland. That it is actually a pretty good movie and far superior to the original. Uh, it has a really, really cool what opening sequence. Has a really cool opening sequence where pirates kidnap Jane's daughter and that ship just takes out a bunch of buildings in London. Shit rips. Anyway, um, Moana has songs by for him not to show back up and like oh, lose. Uh, maybe. Uh, look, Lin Manuel Miranda did the songs for Moana. I have to vote for it. <laughs> and it's one trick pony has pirates with the ship. And has pirates. Yeah, it has pirates. Fair, but it's still a ridiculous thing. No. Mulan shows up here. Okay. Go ahead, Coho. Tell me it's what good. you feel about Mulan. It's good. I like it. It's fine. It goes versus Raya and the Last Dragon, the latest release by Disney Studios. It's also fine. I wish this was closer, <laughs> but it's not. It's Mulan. It's Mulan. Mulan. Mulan, hands down. Mulan. Yeah. Come on. You Mulan. don't think it's close? I like Ray a lot. I just I, 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 think it's, like I think it's I think it's I think it's I don't understand. I think it's I middle of the road. I think it's, it's fine. okay at best. Aquafina annoys the piss out of me in this movie to be yes. real. I think it was a wrong choice. Mulan has Eddie Murphy and funny Eddie Murphy. I'll make uh, a man out of you is top tier Disney songs. Whoa, Bessie. Mushu over Donkey. Yes. Agree? Slightly. Yeah. 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 Dishonor on you? <laughs> Dishonor on yes, your cow? Donkey stopped at uh, Shrek 2? Sure. Donkey. He went past. Okay. Shrek 3 and 4 exist. Ralph breaks the internet. Okay. A movie that, honestly, I expected to be a lot better than it actually was. And it it's fine. It teaches kids to go on your phone and go to eBay. 
This is true. It has a really funny moment on uh, Oh My Disney. Oliver and Company. Oh, Ralph Rex the Internet. <laughs> Sorry. Oliver and Company has <laughs> Billy Joel, and I love him to death. And why should I worry? He's great. But Oliver and Company is not a good movie. It's not a good movie. I I feel like Ralph Breaks the Internet has honestly like kind of gotten lost in the shuffle. I really connected with that movie, honestly. I really appreciate this idea of two people who are really good friends, but the uh, one of the friends just needs to like let go and let your friends live their lives and recognize when you like. Okay, no, I'm not talking about us. I was, I was gonna say, are you trying to tell me something? Yeah. Right now? No, I <laughs> shut up, Cameron Haas. If you're watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's that's who he is talking about. Okay, yeah. quick vote, Cody. What do you want? I'm going all company. Kelly, take your nostalgia come, come goggles to off. I'm just still deciding. Come back to me. Take the nostalgic the virus where it's all Ralph. It's terrible. Go vote. Ralph breaks the internet. Breaks the internet. I, I already said Billy Joel's good. Why should I worry? He's good. The rest of the movie's bad. Vote. But that song's Ralph better than Ralph anything in Ralph breaks the internet. That is true. Uh, Mike, company. it's got Billy Joel. Two. Mike, Mike, it's got Star Wars. And oh, pirates. that's nice. Oliver and Company. One has pirates in it, Mike. You just right. <laughs> And Kelly, make it oh. go to or make it go to the chat. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's too early for this amount of pressure. Um. I'll back one of yours. No, nah, it, it, Oliver and Company. God damn it! Yeah! Oliver and Company. I think that movie has been my bottom ten Disney. I think it's really bad. It's a really bad movie. You're also a trash can. This is true, but it, the movie's not good. And James Mangold wrote that. Hmm. Oh, speaking Hunt. of bad movies. Versus. A movie about dogs. Lots of dogs. The movie that Nazario uh, has nothing hmm. to know about. So, thank you. So, Dalmatians. Dalmatians. The, the Native <laughs> American. I saw a TikTok today that says Dalmatians uh, spots are also like inside, so Cruella Deville's uh, coats were reversible. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> which makes Damn. it better for me. And by the way, I love Cruella. Me too. I'm on the fan that I am a big fan of the movie Cruella. So I'm going 101. Numbers. Yes, it's racist. Come on. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's pretty racist. Though. That's, that's kind of racist, Drew. It's a little racist. <laughs> that's kind of racist, Drew. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, great song, know. though. I will say. That's a good song. Colors of the Wind. Colors slaps. of the Wind is, is great. I oh, like just around the river bend better. Do you like what? <laughs> just around the river bend better. <laughs> it's also good. What? Both. Are we still voting? Oh. I thought we decided. One Dalmatians. 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 The Five. reversible Five. coat. Neither oh, the video oh. store, Drew. We're not woke. Mike says fuck at every other sentence, so. <laughs> Same. He's running for political office next year. <laughs> my, my, in Minneapolis, Mike could definitely be the mayor of Minneapolis. <laughs> fuck it. For the last pick of round one, Pinocchio. Okay. Bye. First. Shit, I fucked up. Peter Pan. Oh, okay. This isn't this isn't hard for me. <laughs> one has pirates, go home. Yeah, but the but the one with pirates is also really hard to watch. Uh, I'll go with Pinocchio. Captain Pirate bitches went against movies. pirates. I will. I hate both these movies, but I will go Pinocchio. I'd say Pinocchio too. I the superior the correct way to watch the Peter Pan story is called Hook. Go Agreed. On. Hook. There you go. Movie. You got me. No Be kidding. best Captain Hook. That's not. Yeah. Kelly, well, what would you yeah. have said? Uh, I would have said Peter Pan. I also would have said Peter Pan. Boatman. Doesn't surprise me, Boatman. Shut up. Iowa. You know. It's Iowa. It's Iowa. 
You're a little northern than I thought, but Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Des Moines was cultured, Bowman. Route two. Yes. I will say Bowman You've does drive at 10 and 2 the entire He does way. drive at 10 and 2. <laughs> Pinocchio comes back immediately, and it goes again. You are exposing my idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Pinocchio. Oh. Okay. Pinocchio. I vote Zootopia. Zootopia. Uh, Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Vote Zootopia. Zootopia is a tie. Let's go to the chat. Chat. Oh, it's old. Chat. It's, it's, pa it's, it's past 1990s. Right. So they're both, are not they're, to be fair, both are like right next to each other on my rankings. It's just Zootopia is one spot higher than Pinocchio. Drew and Nico, we need your vote. Yeah, I wonder what they're voting for. Pinocchio or Zootopia? Pinocchio or Zootopia? Come on. Drew is voting for, uh, for fucking uh, yeah. Zootopia. Oh, Zootopia. Yeah. Zootopia. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Malcolm fucking showed up. What the hell? <laughs> Fuck them whales. God damn. I like it. I like it, Drew. <laughs> oh, that's two to two. Oh, no, no. It was... Uh, oh, no, yeah. Fucking both are pink. Yeah, it's two to two. Shit. Uh, am I allowed to vote? You already did. You already did, didn't you? No, like... On... No. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's the case. Then I'd like to turn my vote. I don't. I could let this go to the coin, but I won and I'm flipping. Pinocchio, let's go. Yeah! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! I am, I am big. Oh, right, we got somebody coming on. Oh! Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I I will respect the chat's decision. I'll leave it up. Thank you, Rose. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think it's funny that Cody at the very time was like, yeah, we need to shoot all the classic ones. And then this time between a classic one and shoot it, he's like, nope, vote it in. Second match oh. is Aladdin versus. If you do it, I'll cut you. <laughs> Oliver and Company. Oh, oh, Aladdin. 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 Easy. Aladdin. I mean, it's One not jump. that easy. One <laughs> God, Why don't you like Aladdin? Not I that. think it's fine. They just... It oh, just you're not your dad showed you... Your dad showed you the return of <laughs> Return of Jafar before <laughs> Aladdin. Yeah. You were fucking yeah, maybe. Maybe. But, yeah, did. That maybe it. Mulan versus. I'm, I'll make a man out of you. Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Mulan. Oh, I vote Alice Mulan. in Wonderland. You. Oh shit! Oh, Alice in Wonderland too. That's two Mulan. Alice in Wonderland, one oh, Mulan. My God. Mulan. Oh, where's Paul Yama? I'm gonna Both. Go Mike I'm and me. Kelly. Oh, these are like two of my top fives. Um. Uh, I'm, leaving, I'm, leaving, I'm leaving Warsaw. I'm leaving Warsaw. <laughs> Move on. Move on. Alice in Wonderland. Take it to the chat. Well, well, I hope you have somebody to run with you. Two. So we got two Mulans. Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Three. And Mulan. four. It's all over. <laughs> yeah. Grandpa Doodle. Alice in Wonderland. Aww. Where's the Mad Hatter? Is he crying? He should. He's a bitch. Cool. Don't just you, oh, super personally. Actually, I forgot yeah. that you played the Mad Hatter. Yeah. I actually wasn't personally attacking you, but now I'm glad I did. Atlantis, the Lost Empire. How the fuck is this still here? Because it's better than Treasure Planet? You're so wrong. Yes, I'm Moana. the one wrong. Oh, Moana. 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 Boatman is in the camp that Moana. Boatman's in the camp that Moana is the most overrated Disney movie of the last ten years. I, 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 didn't I, I, I didn't say that. I didn't. Say no, that. but I remember oh, you, you in the yeah. chat being like, "Oh, shouldn't have been no one nominated." Whatever the fuck. Oh, Robin, Campbell's here. I the Australian. Robin Hood. 
versus. versus. I just love the poster you picked, Rob. <laughs> it's so weird. It's such a weird poster. Shit, where's the poster? God damn it. You, it. Racism, you had one fucking job. <laughs> you had one job. The nightmare. Yeah. How's this still here? <laughs> it made Robin it through. Robin Hood. Rob, Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Is, Robin is Hood. really Robin Hood better than this? Yes. Yes. A lot. Yeah. I'm going yeah, nightmare. Fuck it. Robin Hood. Oh, you're running through the phone. I'm going nightmare. Let's fucking go. Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Ah, yeah. <laughs> the number one Australian restored. This is hurting so much. Did you make that just like a, what kind of version of that song did you just create? It's the beauty. It's the version of this. On the beast. I'll kill Versus. you. I will take you out back and beat you. Is this what I think it's about to be? Oh, no. No. Made Not the run. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, beauty and the okay. beast. Beauty and the beast. Okay. Beauty and the beast. Beauty and the beast. I'll go meet the Robinsons. <laughs> sure. <you can. laughs> beauty and the beast. No. Did you know that it was nominated for Best Picture? Sleeping Beauty. Why is this still here? <laughs> this movie's ass. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty sucks. I'm sorry. It's there, bad. Were, there were some real bad, like, against each other. It was, it was like Melody Time or Make My Music or something. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. so, Sleeping Beauty's in the top 10 worst. The sword in the stone. I just wish Barr was here. So Both of these are top 10 worst Disney movies. What the fuck? I'll cut you. These I'll suck. make it look like a bloody accident. Both these movies suck. Uh, Sword in the Sword Stone. 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 Let me consult. Sword in the Stone. Sword in the Stone. I gotta consult the list. These are both right next to each other on the top. Doesn't matter. Words. We got four votes for Sword. That's uh, fine. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. Let me look. I just gotta say it for posterity. If Andrew Barr was Sword in the Stone. Time. Nope. Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty is literally one above. So Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> what re the rescuers? Uh. 48 and 49. Versus. <laughs> so literally 10th and 9th worst Disney movies. Where's Rescuers? Uh, the Rescuers is Lilo and Stitch. even lower. Lilo oh, and Stitch. Lilo and oh, Stitch. Fuck. Lilo and Stitch is in the top 10 best and uh, Rescuers. fucking Rescuers is like... <laughs> we need to see if I ever get traction just to make this bracket go into chaos. Lilo Rescuers is uh, number 50. One worse than the Sword of Stone. Rescuers in Kangaroo Land versus Tangled. Oh, Tangled. 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 That sucks that it had to go up against. Down under is good, but Tangled is like. Both rescuers are out. No more rescuers. That I'm shocked. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Okay. The princess and the frog. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's great. Great movie. Top 15. Uh, do you want Top 13. Oh. Princess and the frog. Princess and the frog. Tarzan. Princess and the frog. Just listen, to the, the Just listen to the soundtrack. Tarzan. Who are you going to vote for? Phil Collins and movie. Tarzan. Prison. Wait, what's what's the vote count? Three three. Three to three. I'm pretty sure it's three three. We're tied. Yep. And okay. we're gonna lose okay. because people have nostalgia. Okay, Chet. <laughs> Michael. Is it Tarzan? <laughs> <laughs> we got one for bro, Tarzan. Take your goggles off, bro. <laughs> take your nostalgia <laughs> goggles off, please. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is for you, Co. Oh, God, he's on crack. <laughs> he Curse the Black Pearl is a bad movie. The dude's on drugs. Who, Who is it? Come Thank on, you. Carly. Yes. My buddy. Thank you, Nick. Thank okay. you. One to one. So I got to go to the coin. Cosmic Night Fury, Nico. If you, you make go with stage. me, I will I put believe, you back. No. I will put you back in the I back. I do believe Nico said both. Nico, make a decision right now. 
sick of this fence riding shit. Oh, Michael Gamble! Yes, Michael! <laughs> Friends on the Other Side is the best song in that movie. Slaps. Ah, shit. Okay. Yeah. I'm out. Leave, bro. Drew. Drew, leave. leave. Drew, leave. We lost, we lost <laughs> Drew. <laughs> okay. True. I don't. I don't give a shit that a bunch of people yelled into microphones to create trash from the camp. The story's not good. <laughs> hey, Hercules. 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 Love this movie. Hercules. 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 Please don't be what I think it is, though. Please don't be what I think it is, though. Please don't be what I think it is, though. The story's oh, okay. Cinderella. Oh, okay. oh my god. Uh, okay, Hercules. 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 It's close. I like Cinderella, but Hercules is better. Hercules is top ten, Cinderella is not. So, okay. Cinderella, I think, is probably the best. Like, what story is a banger? Tarzan? There is no story. Tarzan is is not me, girl. Man like girl. Man large English. Why is Every this day. still here? The little mermaid. Good. It's great. He's fine. You're a trash can. Like I mean this, and I hate you. Like I hate everything about you. This movie's twenty six on my list. It's the 26. Aristocats. Oh, Little Mermaid. 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 <laughs> Go up against the trash can. Go to Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid is a Mermaid. Like, cohesive, fine movie. Aristocats is a mess with with a villain that should have won. Edgar is is in the right here. <laughs> Edgar's the hero. Okay. Yes. Right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's Nazar's. That's Nazar's. <laughs> what is this beat? I think Home on the Range. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. That's a close comparison. <laughs> Frozen 2 dumb. is really bad. You oh, are shit. dumb. Frozen yeah, 2 is I, bad. I, I, do believe, I do believe Frozen 2 might make it to the next round. Oh, no. Lion King. The Lion King. Oh, fuck. The Lion King. The number Lion one King. versus, like, the number 59. Please, put the Lion King through. Lion King. But Cody, what's your vote? Don't even joke, Cody. Don't even joke. I will not even answer that question. It is I, not my nor, second favorite nor, movie of all time, but... Nor should you. It was brilliant. You don't really love it, do you, Cody? It's only totally your second favorite. So I need a second favorite movie. He's a liar. He's a fake fan. <laughs> Same as number one. I might have fucked up at some point. Of course you did. Yeah. What is stream element? Oh, that's uh, how we get everything on the screen and shit like that. Oh, okay. That's cool. Jungle Book! Oh, is this here? It's fine. What did this beat? I just love that you're like the Disney purist. I'm like, why is this here? Listen here, Mr. Chicken Little. Ever's New Groove. Oh, Ever's New Groove. Please. Ever's, Ever's New Groove. Ever's Ever's New Groove. Listen, Chicken Little is, is a fun movie. Remember. <laughs> it's not good, stock, but it's a fun movie. The stock and being llamas went sky high after this movie. The dead, the dead belittling his son all the time. Laugh riot. The hunchback of Notre Dame. Of course, this is still here. It's Nazario stream. <laughs> what did this beat to get here? That's why I want to know. Fox and the Hound. Uh, okay. Uh, Fox and the Hound. Go Rosen. They're close. Fox and the uh, Hound against what? Hunchback. Fox and the Hound. Kurt Russell. Fuck yeah. Hunchback. Hunchback. Fox and the Hound. Kurt Russell. Hunchback. Oh, no. Both. What did you vote? Hunchback. Drew three. Oh shit! I uh, drew. Drew's on our side. Woo! Come on, Drew. You're gonna lose this vote. Come on, Drew. <laughs> I thought you were. I thought you left. <laughs> I thought you left. What are you doing? <laughs> you think Curse the Black Girl's a bad movie? Oh Go my Malcolm. god! Malcolm, Malcolm I'll give you a Warzone Championship match if you vote for Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, Nico decided to make a decision on this one. I, facts. They're they're the most corrupt Twitch affiliate out there. It's true. They have had their own benefits me. benefits me. Oh shit, Carly. Yes. Yes. Okay, five seconds and then the coin, I guess. Five. 
four, three, oh, two. <laughs> Coin flip. Coin flip. Okay. Coin flip. Coin flip. There's a lot of clubs. You ain't gonna pull no bullshit. Somebody votes right now. No. Jesus, Drew. No. <laughs> please be no, You just showed up. Yeah. Oh, heads, what do you want? I like heads. Head or tails? No, no. Or should I do tails? Fuck. Just vote. Just do it. I can't do it. You want tails? Okay, heads. I'll take heads. I'll take heads. I'll stick with my gut. Heads. Heads. It's that. God damn it. You should have told me. You should have told me. You should have told me. You gave me the look, and then you didn't commit to the look. You're not loved. I know. <laughs> You're not. Uh, okay. All right, whatever. Yeah, Hunchback okay. moved on, Drew. Yeah, Hunchback's fine. I have a problem. What? I have an extra movie for some reason. What'd you do wrong? That's even better. Okay. this. Just check with me the movies that we put through. 101 Dalmatians. Yeah. The yeah. Thing. Mulan. Yep. Yeah. Moana. Yeah. Yep. Robin Hood. Yeah. Yep. Lilo and Stitch. Yep. Yeah. Tangled. Yeah. Yep. Hercules. Yeah. Yep. Emperor's New Groove. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Hunchback. No. Yeah. Lion King. Yeah. Little Mermaid. Yeah. Prince and the Frog. Yeah. <laughs> Sword in the Stone. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. yeah. Aladdin. Yeah. yeah. And Zootopia. Yes. yes, that's it. That's it. I have the great mouse detective hanging around for some reason in my list. Dude, 101 on one, one on my Oh, wait, we didn't go to second round on 101. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Oh. No, so we then didn't. It is, oh. Then it's 101 Dalmatians and the great mouse detective. Oh. Great mouse detective. Great mouse detective. Great mouse Dalmatians. Detective. Great mouse detective. Mike. Fuck. Dalmatians. Fuck it. Dalmatians, let's go to the chat. No, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll go Dalmatians. I'll go Dalmatians. <laughs> going down Dalmatians. I'll right. switch to Dalmatians. But we are, we know symbolically 101 Dalmatians is actually a fill-in for Corolla. Oh, wait. Wait, Mouse Tech. No, shit. I switched. Cody switched. Yeah, Cody switched. Okay, 101 Dalmatians. This is fun. This is fun. It's Captain. Pirate bitch, Drew. I earned this. That is true. Round three. God, this Let's is over. <laughs> you haven't I, even fucking been here. I know. I left. I no, I should show you. I left thirty minutes in. I came back, and round one had just ended. <laughs> I was gone for two whole matches. The dog versus. Every other animal ever. One hundred one. Zootopia. Dalmatians. Zootopia. One hundred one. <laughs> chat. chat. We're going to the chat? chat. Zootopia or one hundred one Dalmatians. I refuse to be. I, I'm on the right side of history. <laughs> Drew, we got one for Zootopia. I'm really surprised that Iowa keeps on this score. We got two for <laughs> Zootopia. Zootopia. That's I think try everything is also a call for Zootopia, but that's just good. Zootopia. Zootopia. Try everything. Try cocaine, something. kids. We'll be fine. Zootopia makes it. Okay. Okay. Trash. That's why he can't spell. Mulan. <laughs> I heard cooking. Versus. <laughs> Aladdin. Oh, Aladdin. Oh, oh Aladdin. my God. No, that's... Aladdin. Mm. Aladdin. 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 You're a fucking moron. Are you Aladdin. serious? Yeah. Oh, my God. I love Mulan. Hey, Bowman, which movie has the greatest comedic performance of all time, in your opinion? Well, not the greatest of all time, but Robin Williams is up there. Yeah, that's what I said. Move on. Put it in line. I no. vote Mulan too. I think I vote Mulan as well. Oh my god. I love it. It's great. So how many Wait. Mulan do we have? For it's splitting okay, hairs. It's splitting we go hairs. Back. We got one for Aladdin. Two for Wait. Aladdin. One for Mulan. Two for Mulan. 
two for Aladdin. Okay, so it's two two so far. We Wait, need no. one more vote. Okay, we need one more vote. Hold on, it's not two two. It's yes, it is. Aladdin, Mulan, Aladdin. The other Mulan vote is Drew saying suck to see Mulan go. Oh, I didn't no. see that. Yeah. It's Aladdin. Aladdin. It's Aladdin. Yeah, so Aladdin. it's Aladdin. Okay. It's Aladdin. Sadly. It's not what if sad. I say a Mulan right now? Don't do it. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Not today. That's a fucking weird take from Bellman. I, they're neck and neck for me. I like Mulan. Yeah. Well, one I'm is really one is like seven Moana. and one is two. Moana, Moana, versus the Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. But Moana's Beauty good. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. That's Beauty four. and the Beast. Hey, by the way, did, Kirk, did you see um, Coho? Did you see Kirk's review of In the Heights? I don't know if I want to. Does he yeah. shit on? Does he shit on my man? He said he should be embarrassed to release this film because it's like it's like a downgrade uh, Hamilton. <laughs> the sword in the stone. That's just on call with him. I could have gotten away with it anyway. Sword of the stone versus what? Robin Hood. Robin Hood, please. Sword in the stone, please. Sword in the stone. Sword in the stone. What the, the fuck? Um, what the fuck? Fuck. Sword in the stone. What the fuck? <laughs> you guys just put number 49 in over number 12. <laughs> fuck. Co-host, sword in the stone is going to go a lot farther than you think it is. I don't know if I want to be on this stream anymore. <laughs> the sword in the stone can take out Robin Hood. The fuck? This is the not going to go the way you the frog. <laughs> Put sword and stone through Moana. I had to leave. What is this bullshit? Versus Lilo and Stitch. Lilo, Wait, was Lilo and Stitch versus Prince and the Frog? Oh, that sucks. Lilo and Stitch. It's Lilo. Uh, Lilo. It's, Lilo. it's Lilo and Stitch, but that sucks. I'm excited the Princess and the Frog got as far as it did, but That's it's true. Lilo. That movie rocks. If it went against Robin Hood, I think uh, someone. I, I agree. Lilo I would have put a Prince and the Frog over Robin Hood. That's too hard. Lilo and Stitch is a top ten. That's a great movie. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Hunchback Fest. God damn it. Huh? The Lion King. Lion King. Lion King. Lion King. Lion King. Lion King. Cody, they, you both did it. Are, they both end with fire, but one's better. I mean, I'm I'm glad if I'm gonna be taken out like this, it's gonna be the Lion King. Fun. Okay. Wow! Wow! King of the castle. King of the castle. And the Little Mermaid versus. The Emperor's New Groove. Emperor's New Groove. Emperor's New Groove. Emperor's New Groove. Little Mermaid. Fuck it, Little Mermaid. Let's go. Who hasn't voted? Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> Sorry, it's always coming to the yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for putting it on there for a second. <laughs> Emperor's New Groove. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. It doesn't help that I like everything, so it makes making choices really hard. <laughs> You're in the right faction, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> to like everything. Wrong. Shit. I think I fucked up again. <laughs> Holy oh, fuck. Hell. Okay, we're well, yeah. trivia career. We put Zootopia, right? Yes. Yeah. Aladdin. Yeah. 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 Lion King. Yeah. Yeah. Hercules. Yeah. And Lilo Hercules. And Stitch. Is, 
Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I fucked up somewhere <laughs> because I still have Tangled here. The fuck? Is I don't game? think Hercules went through yet. No, Hercules hasn't gone through. Oh, yet. so Hercules and Tangled. <laughs> oh, that's Hercules some bullshit. Tangled. <laughs> tangled. Tangled, but that is brutal. Hercules. Tangled. Tangled. Boom! Four! Let's go! Yeah. Mike's code doesn't count. No one cares. No. I'm fine with leaving out that one. I think I think Mike checked out when Kurt Russell got eliminated. <laughs> yeah, Wait, Mike's like, Mike, this shit. Vote? I did not vote, but I don't need to vote. So fuck you. <laughs> Is it tangled? Yes. It's tangled. Okay. I'm good with that. No one cares. Nothing. No four. Semifinals, right? Yeah. No, this is 64. Never mind. No more fuck ups. You sure about that? Not sure. Okay. I mean, it's going to be really Ember, hard to screw up. Versus. And versus Lion King. The Beauty and the Beast. And Persia oh. Groove. Beauty and the Beast. The Beauty. The Beauty and the Beast. Beauty, Beauty and the Beast. And the beast. I stick by. I'll stand by. I stand by Bruce Group. It's four and five, so I'll, I'll take a Bruce Group. Beauty and the Beast. Hey, let's just time. There are very, there are very few movies. Are you? New Groove, Beauty and the Beast is one of the three. The sword in the stone. And Jim calls like, "What the fuck is it still doing here?" We gotta take our Empress New Groove. The Lion King. The lion. Yeah. Okay, yeah. The, the lion. lion. The, the stone, lion. The sword yeah, the stone. <laughs> lion King. Lion King. God. That's four for Lion King. Run. Lion King. Get him. Kill him. So then it's Lilo and Stitch. Zootopia. Well, they two of these got layups, I think, still. Versus Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch. Uh, Lilo wow. And Stitch. Let's just give Lilo a freaking layup in this round. Lilo and Stitch. Experiment 626. It's fine. And don't forget cute and fluffy. These are abominations. Um, Tangled and the fluffy. Versus. It was dead this morning. <laughs> I want some Aladdin. dirty. Oh, Aladdin. I'll go Tangled. Aladdin. Tangled. Aladdin. I think that's four for Aladdin. Unless Cody's not voted yet. It's Aladdin. Okay. That's fair. Robin Williams is in this one. They're literally two and three on my ranking, and Aladdin is technically higher, but I wanted to cause chaos. Two or three. Aladdin's two, Tangles three. Okay. Now we got that. He's got the brain. And for the semis, we got. Is it like a dirty Aladdin? Oh, shit. Versus. It's beauty. First one versus the last one, all right? No. Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch. Aladdin. Lilo and Stitch. Aladdin. Oh, wait. Is it Aladdin? I thought we were voting. No, sorry. Never mind. Aladdin. Sorry. I fucked up what movies. It's, it's Aladdin. Beauty. It's uh, Aladdin. Is it Beauty and the Beast or is it Aladdin? It's Aladdin versus Lilo Aladdin. and Stitch. Yeah, Aladdin. Sorry. If it was Beauty and the Beast, I'd vote Lilo. But. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm in wait, what? <laughs> Are you all really picking Aladdin over Lilo and Stitch? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I know what you did there, Nazario. You tried to fuck us there. I Nizar know what you did. Nizar Nizar I told you I asked with. I did not the do that. Yes, you did, Nazario. Don't try that shit. You punk bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm There's a you. special spot in the hole on the ground for people to do that shit. Yeah. The, Lord. the Lion King. Where's me and the Beast? You're a bitch, and you know you are. You know what you did. I vote the Lion King. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> I'm going Lion. Lion King. Beauty and the Beast. Oh. You're gonna get into his rigging? Oh my god. 
The line. It's Mike. It's I me and the Zara left. What are you doing, Zara? I'll go. I last. said it'll Beauty and the Beast. Wait, so what's the rule right now? Two and two? Leave it in the chat. Leave two. it in the chat. Leave it in the chat. Leave it in the chat. It's two to two right now. I, I can't do it. Lion King. Lion King. Lion King. Wait. It's three, three. How many? Yes. Okay. Who voted Beauty and the Beast? No. That's three, three. Go to yep. the chat. Three, three chat. Did you print the chat? Lion King. Lion King. And some bullshit. What are you going to choose? Need go. Two Lion Kings. Okay. Three yeah. Lion Kings. Yep. Lion King goes. Through. It's over. Ridiculous. You tried. You tried, Nazario. You tried so hard. It is ridiculous. Thank you. <laughs> If you really wanted it, you should put Beauty and the Beast and Hunchback just automatically in the semifinals. Oh, wait. I didn't put the sign. Finals. The finals. Okay. Lion King. Wow. I wanted my two. What, what's going to win? The Lion King. What? Lion King. Is Lion King and Aladdin. Come on. Oh. Lion King. That's Lion. I'm going to vote for the it's Lion King. Really, come on. A bunch of bullshit could enter, but the circle will still continue, and there will be Lion King at the end. So, is it everybody or anybody voting for Aladdin here? Aladdin almost lost to Lilo. <laughs> There's no way the Lion King is good. <laughs> and your winner, and the best, I guess. Yep. Disney movie. My favorite Spielberg one and my favorite Disney one. This is a great Aladdin. day. This is a great day. <laughs> My two and three of all time. Spielberg in this. Let's go. It took a while, but we got there. I think we don't have anything else I'm going happy on. I'm where tonight. my picks landed. I, I wish it was different, but it is what it is. You tried. You tried. Good thing we don't have anything else going on tonight. Let's Thanks to go to the Can I go home? <laughs> Thanks okay, to I'm go to the up for Tim who had to drop out at the last minute. Thanks to Kelly for waking up insanely early for this. Hope yeah. you had fun. Thanks to both men for anything is match to be here. Go hope. Thanks for leaving and coming back. I guess I don't know. I Mike Hell. Thanks for showing up too. This has been a great show. This has been M ranked. Our longest Thanks, ranked yes, day. our first affiliate. Thank show. you. And you guys all our showed first up. affiliate show. Oh, we had awesome. to make it a little special. Uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, I think it's movie games. Maybe something else earlier, but definitely movie games this week. See you around, guys. Enjoy movies. Don't be like Cody. <laughs>